sir. All right, we back. Peace to the family. Peace to you and yours. Welcome back to Melanin Mondays. This is your host for the evening, Brother Richfield. I am joined by my illustrious guest for the evening, Brother Blue Pillar 44. Cheers. My good brother Tyreek Bay. Yo, yo. And the God Jefferson. You know what I'm talking about? Peace. We are in the building. This episode is entitled No Diddy. No Diddy. No Diddy. Huh. Diddy. The Great Fall. The Great Fall. Number 11. The Great Fall, number 11, y'all. Yeah. Melon and Mondays, baby. We back. New year. New bag. New energy. Yeah. New purpose. Uh huh. New talk. New cloth. I'm here. We here. Shit is going brazy outside. You know what I'm talking about? But we here. Um, I'm joined by some connoisseurs of the culture. And the, and the vultures have to uh, talk about the culture tonight. You know what I mean? We come out late at night to have these conversations. You know what I'm talking about? We on our scorpion shit. It's a new time. It's a new year. Spring is here. And uh, Aries is here. It's here. It's here. And, yeah. with the, and with the arrival of Aries comes everything that has been promised to you on all different uh, stages of the chessboard and across multiple cultures. So we're going to talk about some things tonight on Melanin Monday, like we always do. Uh, we are going to focus on some of the hot button topics that are, you know, currently taking people's uh, minds into the realm of distraction. Yeah, and all the news type of shit. Type of shit. And we're also going to have some announcements about the things that are taking place in our universe and in our world and all of the wonderful upcoming events that we have to share with you. So make yourselves welcome. Uh, make sure you share this. Make sure you subscribe. And most of all, make sure you like the videos. You know what I'm talking about? We back in the like building like share. we never left and whatnot. KTL Plus, all right? Get used to that. KTL Plus. And we are currently broadcasting live from KTL Studios. It's KTL and the ATL. Shout out to the good people over here at Industry ATL, Brill and the family. You know what I'm talking about? Lil Haiti and whatnot. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to Raven, you know Shout what I mean? Shout out to the whole team and whatnot over at Industry ATL, the place where you can find us on 420. You know what I mean? That's on 420. Shout out to all of my smokers. We will be having our album release party at industry 400 loyola drive uh atl you know what i'm talking about we will be having our album release for the 48 pillars of power 48 pillars of power you know what i mean 12 uh tracks soundtracks for that matter and also a book that accompanies you uh, a book that will accompany this project along with merch, along with artwork, and along with uh, vinyl and cassette. And we also will be releasing our strain, the red and the blue pill strain right now. We've been, uh, you know, trying out some things and whatnot, getting ourselves right. Uh, but definitely, acclimated. huh? Getting acclimated. getting acclimated to the flower, you know, and the, uh, and the, <laughs> In the in the in the in the uh the gas or you know the the youth call it the za you know what I mean, but yeah it's smoking good. Uh, shout out to everybody out there, um, dodging the fentanyl laced grabber. You know what I mean. Make sure y'all out there safe and your lips are, you know, uh, not being deceived. And uh, to the brothers and sisters in Cobb County and other places who are suffering mm. from uh egregious laws that draconian. they have the draconian laws that they have mm -hmm. on the record books yeah look my if, good if, brother if, right yes if you tired yeah of the dragon breath bearing down on your neck if you tired out there on them streets specifically on them highways 
You know what I'm saying? You need to come and holler at Tyreek. You know what I'm talking about? If you if if if, if you're tired of hearing Clayton County police sounding like Side Squash feet, then you need to come holler at Tyreek. That's Tyreke right. gonna get you right. Please talk to them about that thing. That, 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 that thing now. Listen, man. To bring this message home, about a week ago. Mm-hmm. Now y'all watching BMF. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the hot. One of the hottest shows out right now. Yeah, one of And those of you from Atlanta and know the history of Atlanta know that Meech and BMF, they used to be out in Buckhead. But yet, I'm talking about BMF, right? But yet, the news just reported that the biggest... Biggest. The biggest... The biggest... Seizure in the history of Buckhead. Biggest of what? Big as the what? Big as the what? The biggest the, the what? The biggest seizure yeah. ever. Ever. Was about a week ago. It was a rapper. Just a week ago. A homie got caught with 500 what? and 60 pounds. Say it. Of, Zazi? Mm-hmm. Jesus. 560 Zazi. pounds. Damn. He got caught with about... Damn, there are a couple of hundred packs of edibles. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. He got caught with a grip of shrooms. <laughs> he did, he did. That he did. <laughs> yo, that he yo. did, that he did. <laughs> yo, <laughs> homie will forever be a legend. Candy man. <laughs> in an Atlanta drug game. King of commissary. The cops see that I mean, at the seizure, the cops was like, this was, they was like, this a career bus. This is a career bus. A right career right. bus. Now, if you look at the sentencing and the, and, and the penalties for the type of work he had, whew, I mean, Dragonia. yo, the, the homie Rallo right. got caught with what? For 300? Well, how much? 440. 440, oh, right? He LB, just now coming yeah. home. Homie, little homie might be gone for a minute. Yeah. He gone for a minute. So, let's and let's drive that point home. You know, Rallo got caught with 444 lbs of them things, and his sentencing guidelines I think made it possible for him to do what seven or eight. Yeah. Right. Where we looked at the Georgia guidelines for Schedule One, right? Man. Or where this shit registers at in between 100 to 500 pounds of Schedule One and the felony classification just for that, just for how they just treating weed. Oh, nah, I think, son, that's like mandatory minimum, probably 15 to 30. Yeah. Crazy, Some crazy bro. Crazy shit. So crazy. his minimum is 15. Yeah. So he got to double up and bring it to the door with Rallo did for the minimum. That's the minimum. He can't do nothing less than that. So, you know, they going to have yeah. homie bent up like um. He going to get numbers like knowledge on belly. He ain't going to see the light. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy that this is a narco state. This is a state where niggas who got trap museums be at the state building chilling. Like the the boule politicians be with all of the drug dealers and the you know and the trap rappers. But I this think, is a. Yeah, n- I, I watched. I was looking at a podcast the other day, and you know, homie was like. We all in the same room. We all go to the same restaurant. It's not segregated and shit. It's not like segregated. So everybody's on top of one another. Pause. Look. And they, that's how they end up on top of one that's another. That's how they end up. Right. They said that it got to a point where the slimes in them was in the same room as the politicians or the or the top or old money in Atlanta. They have the, the west side and the north side that, that moves around Atlanta and whatnot, you know, these people are not really that comfortable around it. That's why you see them bankrupting these artists with these Ricos. That's that's boule pushback that you see going on, where they squeezing out all of the, uh, they taking all that new money and, and, and squeezing it dry. They like, nah, we can't support the upbring, the pushing of that, because these people are invading our safe spaces. We got too much going on in the backdrop. We got too much going on in the backdrop. But, but to but, be with these these savages is around us. Yeah, wait, but, hold on, real quick, because Freak Nick really laid out the structure. Because mm. people probably don't understand 
the what structure, a, how a, cultural right. and political structures go together here. Yes. Atlanta was a hotbed in Let's fix that. Problems. Transmission yeah, problems with my mic. Let's yeah, fix it. Blue mic. Right. You, you, bring, you bring your mic closer, Blue? All right, yeah. No problem. Blues, Is that better? Blues type of shit. Is that better? On the blues type of shit. Blues, clues type of shit. Breaking on the man. microphone blues. on the blues. Blues, blues type of shit. Spitting on my news type of shit. All right, so, so for, for, all right. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold yeah, on. yeah, one yeah. One more time, yeah. one more time. Yeah, let's hear it. How, how that smoke, baby? How that smoke? Fire. How that smoke? That shit fire, bro. What is that? That's that, this is a gelato. This, this, this is a gelato that we about to drop. It's part of the Dope Chicks situation right. that we about to hit. Street Squid, but we got, right. you know, Dope Chicks Shit coming up the beautifully, man. Yeah, that's that real, that's that's part of the real Dope series. We got come up the real Dope music and all that, you know what I mean? But, but Peep Gang, though, this the, the sad thing about that, Right? For that same type of gas, homie about to get all these numbers for. Right. Because he don't know how to move out here. You understand what I'm saying? Right. What, 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 right. What, what this is right here, <clears throat> the same gas you used to ain't really nothing different, but this is under T A C A. A. A in the A, baby. A. A in the A. You know what I'm saying? A. The, 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 low, the low homie getting hit with T A C charge. So if he just threw an A in if front of that, he threw an A on the top the of a, that, he could have moved 560 then pounds Then he would have been celebrated as he like, we outside, the man store's the open, who got it? Who ordered? I got it. Legal gas. I got five out of them things. That's that legal gas. That's that legal gas. So baby. the same nigga, hold on, technically the same person. Let me work. Let me work. <laughs> Please, let me work. Because let's paint this picture. You trying to tell me, right? This same individual could go and get a motherfucker billboard like Michi and them and advertise that he got legal gas the in the city. Suspicious. You don't find that <laughs> suspicious. Something, something ain't right, man. Yeah, it ain't on, right, man. man. Something ain't right, man. Nah, all man. because, all because, Teflon. Teflon Trump. Teflon. That's right. How he got it right? Talk to them. 20... <laughs> Excuse me, buddy. Listen. That's that gas, huh? That's that, that gas. gas. The cough. That gas. Hey, check that out, baby. Well, check that it out. legal gas. And Thing okay, really. in 2016, Astrid. well, a little further back when, when this marijuana thing started catching on, it was a little girl, man. Right. This little girl, <coughs> her name was Charlotte. Her name was Charlotte. This little girl, baby Charlotte, was having over 100 seizures <coughs> a day. <coughs> Damn, it's really, it's, it's doing, you know, excuse me for that, but check it out. So she had a hundred seizures a day. I mean, she going through it. Her and her people's going through it. They ain't know what to do. So, what's this? Water. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm good, baby. Oh. <laughs> I got me. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, that's that gas. But check it out. She was having a hundred seizures a day, man. Damn, son. A hundred. Just imagine. This your, this your little girl. You seen her having a hundred seizures a day, man. She uh-huh. can't even live. Really, they trying everything. So, at the time, there was some grows in Denver, Colorado, called the Stanley Brothers. Shout out to Denver, yeah. Shout yeah. out to Denver, Colorado. Shout out to Denver. They put me in this space, man. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Smoke. Smoke so check it out. Smoke on Grow Rich 2019. First, tour, 2019. First, yeah, we made history. BC. All right. Before the COVID. Nip. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right after Nip. Yeah, right, right after Nip. BC, yeah, before yeah. COVID. Check before that out. COVID. So when you, when you, when you, when you, when you throwing your numbers out. Always put that BC because the world was different after that COVID hit. You know what I'm saying? We in another paradigm, AI, whatnot. But check it out though. We in the Matrix. But anyway, Stanley Brothers, they was growing cannabis at the time, and they grew a crop that wasn't hitting. <laughs> you know, they were smoking it, but nobody was getting high. They're like, yo, what's good? We can't move this. You know, man, we we but we can't just throw it away. We just spent all this bread th- growing this grass. You know what I'm saying? So right. we need to figure out what else to do with this. So they started studying, you know, the history of cannabis, you know, the Native American, the medicine and all that. And they're like, yo, this plant, this plant is more than just you, you it's more than just with this weed you smoke. Nah, this thing, this thing's a medicine. This That's thing properties. Yeah, this thing can 
can can can ninety two nutrients. What thirty thousand thirty thousand different type of products can come from the plant. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Thirty. You don't find that to this day. Come on, man. To this 30, day. That's crazy. Thousand. So they were like, to you know what? If we need to figure out what we can do with this, so they 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 they, they, they created the oil. They created some oil out there. And it's like, yo, this is supposed to be some type of medicine, but we don't really know what it do. Right. So they're like, yo, we need to, you know, put it out there and let people know we got it. So somehow, baby Charlotte, you know what I'm saying, her moms heard about this, and she said, yo, what she got to lose, man? Your child having 100 seizures a day. Right. Ain't no law fitting to stop you. Right. You got to see what, what's to that. So they put their hands on that. And they gave it to baby Charlotte. So baby Charlotte took it. She went from having 100 seizures a day to one a week. What? God damn. One a one week. One a week. Crazy. That's crazy. So they're like, yo, well, hold on. What's good? Yeah. This is what this oil did. Yeah, what? Yeah, run that. Yeah. One a week. Okay, so news got out about baby Charlotte. Like, yeah. Parents from across the country, like, yo, what's, yo, what, 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 what are they at? They're in Denver? The client, I'm the president. They're in Denver? Right. Yeah. Oh, what? I got to leave where I'm at and move to Denver and go look at the real estate records, man. The, the, the property skyrocket out there. Started jumping. Because everybody start taking their sick kids and their sick people. They start going to Denver to get that medicine. That's CBD. That's what they figured out it was. <laughs> CBD, bro. CBD. Yikes. Damn. So they're like, yo, hold on. Yeah, this so like, yo, hold on, hold on. This, this plant got what? So they started like, look, man, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta find a way to grow the plant without getting people high. And just giving them the medicine of CBD. And then we can run that. Right. We can make money off of that. And on top of that, we can bring back these farmers who hurting out here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These farmers is hurting out here. So these farmers is hurting out here. So we need to construct some type of law that say, yo, we going to let you grow not, <clears throat> not marijuana, but the CBD part of the plant. Right, the hemp. right, the hemp. So, Teflon Don got a bill to him that was headed by money making Mitch McConnell. Mitch from yeah. Kentucky. Mitch. Big you dig Mitch. what I'm saying? Big Mitch. Kentucky won't get back into the game because back in the day when we was in them chains, Kentucky was running the hemp game. They was calling it nigga hemp. Mm. It was the leading grower of hemp because. Making stuff like clothes and all the what you do out of plant, you gotta process the plant. You gotta strip the stocks off. You got it's yeah, labor it's a intensive. It's a very labor mm -hmm. intensive with that. It's labor intensive. Who you think was doing the labor? Us. Us. You dig what I'm saying? Right. We had Kentucky in the game. So Kentucky was running the game and they wanted to get back in with the hemp because they banned hemp. Because Dirty Harry. I don't they, they don't even know about Dirty Harry. I don't know about Dirty Harry. They don't even know yeah. about Dirty Harry. So Dirty Harry is Harry Ang Slanger. Ang Slanger. Oh, y'all gonna, gonna want to call your peoples up and listen to this one. We going in tonight. We just spelling it what? Just spelling mm -hmm. it Monday? Mm -hmm. We about to tap mm -hmm. in. So peep gang. Wake that melanin up. So Harry Ang Slanger, what you know as DEA and all that, FBI and all that back in the day, it right. was, you know, it was a, it was a precursor to that. Right. So back in the day, it was, it was a marijuana. It was prohibi pro a prohibition. It was, it was liquor. Right. You know how I know? Cause that's how my family got into the game. Right. They was selling liquor. They was bootleggers. Right. Mm -hmm. You know my family from Charleston, South Carolina. Right. You dig what I'm the saying? Geechies. The Chuck. You know I'm a yeah. Geechee. Geechee. Right. You feel me? Geechee always. The Geechees always had a connection with New York, cause we used to make the moonshine. Right. And drive it up to New York and sell it in Harlem. Right. right. That, that, we was, that was the distribution point. That's right. That's why you always, when Bumpy Johnson was out there running, Bumpy from Charleston. Right. Charleston. He's a Charleston. Geechee. That's you right. feel me? Where you think Bumpy was getting right. his liquor from for his clubs? Right. 
from the yeah. top. You understand? It was prohibition. So Harry, Dirty Harry, them, they was trying to bag my peoples back then. Right. Your peoples too. That's right. They was trying, you couldn't give me, you had to go to a speakeasy, it was all that, you know what I'm saying? But at the time, the clubs was running the gang. When you go to the clubs, who was running the clubs? It was us, That's the right. jazz musicians. Like Drake, you see Drake, you know, Future just dropped, right? Future just dropped, Future, Future tearing the streets up. Right. Back then, you know who Future was? Louis Armstrong. That's right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. right. Louis hit you with that? Right. That's right. Still the panties coming down, all that. Right. Yo, the white women was going crazy over Louis. And he was in right. a, he from the hood. And all them jazz right. play with uh, Cab Calloway. Yeah, right, right, right. He got a song called Reefer Man. Reefer Man. Louisiana. The Reefer Man. Them, Reefer they, Man. them boys had their own, they, they had Satchel. They used to call it Satchel. Yeah, right. You right. see what I'm saying? That was his brand. They was selling right. weed. Went yeah. in the clubs. They was, shit. yo, marijuana. They, they was doing, yo, was come on, man. Y'all yeah. 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 like niggas ain't niggas. They said they it was, was prolific. Them niggas, come on, baby. Yeah, they was making strand music. They was making. Right? They was making theme music for their strands, and then they was bumping and shit. Yeah, they was bumping this shit through the Music, dope the music. music. They had it was dope always music. dope music. Yeah. That's why we got the real dope music movement. But back to this. That's right. Dope and music always go together. They was moving that. You know what I'm saying? But prohibition had just ended. So now Dirty Harry ain't got no job. He ain't got nothing to go after. Hmm. But at the same time, William Randolph Hearst was in the gang. This was the paper dude. He was like Ted Turner. Rupert Murdoch back right, then. Yeah. You understand? He he controlled all the media. And at the at the time it wasn't no it wasn't a screen media, it was paper media. Print media. Print right. media. And the print shit, you gotta have paper for that. Yeah, paper. So he know, okay, in order for me to make this paper, I need trees. And he do with any businessman, he's a capitalist. He go buy the trees. This nigga, he go buy all the trees. He buy this nigga, he buying everything. He got the companies cutting down, making the paper. He spent millions of dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Hemp ain't in the game no more, right? Because it's too labor intensive. So hemp ain't no threat to them. Right. But then one day, they created the hemp processing machine. You feel me? So now hemp back in the game. So now it's a threat. Right. Hemp a threat to, yo, you mean to tell me because I cut down this tree and it's going to take 20 years for that tree to grow back. That's right. I cut down this hemp six months this thing back. That's right. Right. Come on, man. You got wood. You got him. Crete. You got yo. Henry Ford was rocking with George Washington Carver. Y'all ain't know they was homeboys. It was cool. The peanut butt. The peanut man. Yeah. Tosigi. Yeah. He was. He was plugged in. George Washington Carver was Henry Ford's secret. He was yep. the one who was, was giving Henry Ford the game on how to do yeah. the mass production and all right. that with the cars, all that right. shit. That was right. George Washington Carver. Right. They got pictures together. Right. So he came up with a way to turn the hemp in the parts. Car parts, gas, and all that. He was right. going to turn plants into fuel and all that. So anything you see, petroleum and all the oil running off, you could have run that off hemp back in the day. Right. You see what I'm saying? It was called Kimmergy. Go look it up. This real shit. It's called Kimmergy. This was a science George Washington Copper was bringing out. It was going to make, make the petroleum shit, you know. Irrelevant. Yeah, right. relevant. Right. So, okay, so now you can't let the, that. Because the, the hemp also has a more positive carbon footprint. It's, it sucks to, carbon it out. Sucks yeah. carbon out. So right. That's why it, the earth it, fucked up. Right. So the uh, popular mechanics, I believe they they was the one that had ran the article and they estimated. They was like, yo, the hemp has a potential to be a billion dollar plus business. They had never used that word in public before. Right. Like even with steel or oil, they wasn't talking to bees yet. And they started talking to bees. I think the article came out in 1938 in Popular Mechanics. And they were speaking about um, the the invention, you know, that now that that machine was on the, on the scene, what this potentially could mean because right. it changed labor forever. Yes. Right. And then they. they that they, shit was like AI right. hitting the streets. The same way that I'm about to say, hold on, huh? The same way that Chat GPT changed that things was forever. GPT. Right. That was the GPT back then. That was the tool, on, the cheat code, the magic tool. So now the, the right. world was at the crosswords. Y'all in the spirituality, y'all know what that means. It's a crossword. This is, is when you make this decision, it's going to determine how the future is going to go. So right. this, the moment of the crossword was, do you go to petroleum 
Right. Or do you go plants right. and right. fuel the planet? Right. If you go with the plants, that shit suck carbon out the atmosphere. The earth's cool, everything straight. But if you go with the petroleum, that shit put carbon in the atmosphere, fuck up the balance. No my eye, all that. Learn about it. Balances, that's why the earth reacted in the way it's reacting. That's why the weather fucked up. Right. It's cause at that at that crossword roads, this hemp played a big game, a big, a big, a big part of this shit. So right. keep game. Right. So God's miracle plant. That's look, God's look, plant, look. baby. This shit crazy. It ain't just it ain't what you think it is. Right. And what they ran the cars off of was natural. Right. You know right. Right. Yeah. So exactly. Right. Yeah. Moonshine. Was Moonshine. To fuel cars. To fuel cars. Yeah. Yeah. Right. To fuel. And it won't to and stop black people, from black get black making yeah. exactly that would be in right. And then the, that's when they had the BPA. Yeah. Mm. Came out the same year. Yeah. 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 He, he on his. Wow. Yeah. All yeah. that. Okay. That part. That, that part. part. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Hold on, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> to this day, that, that, that part. From the to, hand. That part. To this day, as I say. And, and, say. And, to this day. And shout out to the and to, shout out to the brother, the brothers of Haitian. That's right. We gonna, Hold we on. gonna we gonna do it. Bang, right. bang, 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 bang. Listen, it ain't what you think it is in Haiti. We gonna have a whole another episode on that. A Stay whole tuned. Whole episode on Haiti. Game. On yeah. Haiti. Yeah. But, but, yeah. You know, and that's yeah, gonna be crazy. That. But peep game, no. So now when this happened, yeah, they was like, yo, we need to get rid of this hemp, and we need a new, a new, a new. We need something to do because the liquor now illegal. We gotta get something. Hmm. Let's get them niggas again. Let's get them. Let's get at these niggas. <laughs> yeah. Let's you know why? Them Louis these. niggas? Again yeah. Again. You yeah. know them niggas? Think about these niggas. These are, this is one of the first generation out of slavery, man. Right. This, they just hitting the streets. They the first one to learn how to get money. That's right. Through the music, man. They ain't right. had shit. They grew up in Storyville. I, I was in New Orleans, man. That's right. I, yo, I, I seen what Storyville was. There. Storyville, New Orleans, it was, it was, run, it was, it was hustlers there, but that shit was tore up. Right, right. You understand? To get out of that, them were, rrr, 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 and Louis was right, out there. Right, right. You dig what I'm saying? Outside, so right. them niggas was they, the, these brothers was having people. The, yo, know, it was the white girls was going crazy for the jazz players, man. Right, so right. just to marry somebody like Harry, man, he probably lost his girl, little nigga like Louis. Think that's about right. it. It was personal Definitely with did. him. He Very hated personal. niggas. He yeah, like, yeah, no, I hate. Yeah. Man, it stayed on record how he felt about us. You understand what I'm saying? So now his he married. And I think his 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 father in laws guess who? I think that that's yeah Randolph Hearst. Like look, right. bro, right. check it right. out. Right. You no, know, yeah. I need yo, I need a favor. You know they got this hemp shit out here, man. You know, listen, man, we gotta get rid of that. We gotta come up with something. And yo, it's a mirror campaign. yeah, and you need something. Yeah. You need something to do anyway, right? Right. So right. I tell you what, right? We gonna call this shit marijuana. Right. Exactly. The Mar Mexican nigga, them, them, yeah, we gon' yeah. yeah, we gonna use the Mexicans. Madness. They call it what they call it, marijuana. Okay, yeah, we need yo, call hype Williams. Our hype Williams. Our no, who their version no, of hype who, Williams who, who, back who, then. Who, who, well, they, they, they Martin so, 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 right, 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 right. Go get Coppola. this thing because the TV just dropped. Think about what's going on at the time. All right, right, right. 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 TV just the, the the movie, the motion pictures and shit, the movies and shit. Yeah. Yo, let's create a film about. The 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 the, the marijuana, we gonna call that right. shit reefer madness. Reefer madness. We gonna show niggas bugging out in the show. You don't find that suspicious. <laughs> you yeah. don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. Reefer madness. You don't find that suspicious. Yo, when reefer madness hit the streets, this when shit it, went yeah. crazy in America. Crazy. Boy, that shit was like that shit was like birth of the nation all over. Yeah, again. all over. Right. You understand what I'm yep. saying? They showed the. Them boy had the black face. Them boy was like smoking the weed and bugging out and shit, man. They were like jumping out the window and shit. Yo, it was crazy, man. The girl like, ah! she jumped out the window on them niggas. I was like, yo. So after that movie come out, everybody bugging. So during the during during the session, you know the session when everybody ain't even there. There's right. a few people in the session, you know, they had the little emergency thing. He got on the floor, said, yo, man, 
Y'all ain't want these niggas to come take your white girls with that with that music. Right. Because you gotta understand the music was a frequency. <laughs> boy hit that frequency, you know, this is boy hit that boy. Then you on the reefers. And, and, you, and, you and, and you got the reefers Yo, and the moonshine. They said it on the Senate floor, like, look, these niggas is dangerous with that music. They we got the only bro. way to stop them is to get rid of that marijuana shit. And then they passed the tax act. 1937 tax act. That shit mm-hmm. started the whole game. This is when niggas start getting locked up for the plant, bro. You understand? So, right, so they after, fast so forward they, to where but we they at. went after the real. They wouldn't really after marijuana, man. It was after the hemp. You know, with the right. hemp, right? To shut yeah. that down. They shutting that shit down. And they just renamed it they marijuana did. to kind of to criminalize it, it. Exactly. Yeah. and to give it this uh, villain. And we this got villainous. the hit. Yeah. Right. They did us like the brothers and sisters in yeah, Haiti. How you going to slave these people and make them pay reparations to you? That's right. That part. Get That's the, right. Yo, that part. Wow, hold shit. on. Let me stop. Hold on. We going we gonna to say that. But keep right. game. So now the game start. I ain't never been no criminal, none of that shit. Only time I ever been in police custody and handcuffs it was, was for this goddamn plant. I ain't the only one. Right. You understand? That's what that's where your record and all that, all the problems and in, in, in people's lives got started with that, with the plant. Let's mm. be real. That shit ain't really never caught, man. Listen, man, I used to remember when I was little, I used to see my mom and them go in the bathroom, the, the house start smelling funny. We ain't know what it was, you know right, what I'm right. saying? We figured out it was, we rolling up everything. We rolling up grass and shit. We trying to figure, we rolling up potpourri. We oh, trying man. to figure this shit out. You Everybody see what I'm saying? Everybody start out with potpourri. Everybody start out with Everybody the potpourri, man. Did. But shit, nigga, I ain't never been in a situation, man. Everybody be chill when they on the plant. You know what it is. I ain't got to give you that part. Right. But we with that plant was a problem for us. But it was for the hemp. So now when them baby Charlotte came through like that, you can't hide that shit now, bro. Them people like, look, fuck that. I want my plant. They was breaking the laws to do that. So, so, so John McConnell, well, Senator uh, Money making Mitch like, look, man, let's go ahead and make that part legal. We need a new law called, and, and, and they call it the 2018 Farm Bill. They put it in front of Teflon, mm-hmm. and Teflon signed that shit. Right. So now the CB, y'all remember when CBC, CBD was bumping? We was out there pushing it. That's right, right. You know what I'm saying? We had the farm, and the farmers was getting $60,000 an acre. Yeah. Ask how much a peanut farmer make. Right. They don't make farmer. no sixty thousand no <laughs> acre. <laughs> we met the people. Hey, blue. You remember the peanut farm was about to give us his whole farm. Yeah. You remember that shit? Yeah. Like, look, man. He got like the man had like two hundred acres. Man, look, my growing peanuts, man. Yeah. Y'all got that hemp shit? <laughs> got, that, got that hemp shit? <laughs> got that hemp? Y'all got that hemp? <laughs> Yo. Got two hundred. Straight to the Why? Bag. Why, bro? And 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 yeah, we ran them numbers up. We ran we them like, numbers up, bro. right? Come on, man. Be- it was a so, whole situation. So yeah, yeah, whole when, situation. when 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 I, when when Senator when, when Donald Trump signed that man, the, the hemp industry popped up in America. Yes. And shit started going crazy. So in this bill, it said, "Look, man, we got a. There's a difference between CBD and THC. We gonna test this shit when you grow it, and it, they looking for a certain amount of THC." Mm-hmm. You understand? But listen, man, the plant been the plant been they ain't studied this plant for like 80 years. They don't know what this shit do. The new mm-hmm. scientists don't know what it is. Right. So they start they, they start looking in the plant and this shit shit. T T A C and C V D niggas 300 of them. <laughs> the law only say this right here. So the farm bill made it illegal for the other ones to rock out. And everyone got a each 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 of these cannabinoids, look them up. If you put them all together, it's called the entourage effect. That entourage shit do something effect. to you. They got they got mm. receptors in your brain that's designed for the cannabinoids. It ain't no T, it ain't no Hennessy receptors in your brain. Mm. And you know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm right. saying? But they right. got a they got a a, a CB a, a, a cannabinoid receptor for you. So when you when you take the plant. It do some different type of things to you on a on a medicinal side, right? right? So, what the farm bill say? Look, long as the THC number is like this, T, THC number is below 0.3 percent. With that, the other ones is cool. You feel me? So that's when you start seeing the, the little delta eights and all that popped up. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So right. now THCA is just another one of them. You understand that under this farm bill, as long as your number C, it's a lab report, and this why the brother got knocked. 
he, he was playing and, and he didn't have his situation right. right. He don't understand, bro. Listen, you, you, you can't show where you got that from. You understand? When we dealing with we dealing with, this got a, a, a supply chain. This, we know exactly right. where this came from, the farmer came from, who grew it. It was tested, verified, TAC level straight. You dig what I'm saying? Right. But it got TA. C you, if you C know the chemistry, yeah, it's called a COA. It's the paperwork. That's right. There's rules we to this have shit. Paperwork, baby. We behind enemy lines, bro. This is Georgia. They do not fuck around. Listen, this ain't California. This ain't um, New York. A lot of New York niggas down here. Listen, trap. this ain't. Listen, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, trap. Listen, and Atlanta, you cool. They see they love you. They love. They, they'll put. They'll make you fall asleep in Atlanta because they lax on this shit. They're like, oh, you might get a little ticket or whatnot. But this base, this is like a red state, man. Right. Outside mm -hmm. of Atlanta, shit, they ain't fucking around with you out here. Sure. You dig what I'm saying? They're gonna make y'all buckhead, nigga. That's buckhead. They, right. they, they look, look, man, we remember meets them niggas came through. Right. We not letting that shit, that nah, shit. nigga, right. y'all niggas, what? Where your, where your paperwork at? Right. We gonna, look, oh, so if this brother had done it the yeah. right way and, 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 and not, you not, see, we got to get out the trap mentality. This ain't a trap. It's a business. Yeah. Huh? What happened? 80. Break time. Break time? Okay. Cool. My bad. I get into it with that. <laughs> the niggas ain't never heard the story like this. Yeah, That's so we gotta wrap it up. Okay. Just, no. You still back so, on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my fault. But yeah, I gotta tell it, man. We gotta tell the story, man. It's very important, man, because yeah. you still behind enemy lines and people getting locked up, bro. That's you know right. what I'm saying? That's real talk. What, what, I'm not promoting you going out doing it wrong. I'm, I'm promoting you doing this shit like a responsible business owner. Right. It's, 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 it's smoke shops and gas stations out here pumping way more than 560 pounds of marijuana, and they out here right. pumping legal gas and getting paid. So that's why I created the legal gas money situation. Legal right. gas money is a, is, a, is a course. Legal gas money teaches you what I just told you, Legal gas money show you how to check your state laws and see how to move and operate and how to do it responsibly. That's you right. know what I'm saying? How to source your product, make sure you got what you getting. Right. Make sure anybody got you you got real paperwork on your product. You you out here responsible. You ain't selling this shit to nobody under 21, none of the dumb shit. You got your business set up, you got an EIN set up. You ain't meeting nobody in the in the back alley getting shot in parking lots and shit because you stole on the streets, man. Some dumb shit. Right. This is the dumbest shit I ever seen, man. Yeah, that's a dub. What? The same power. So I created the course, man. And don't tell me about the course too much, man. I made it cheap as hell. You, if you don't get it, that's on you. You getting knocked for this, man. Right. Legalgasmoney.cloud, man. I created the course. Check the course out. It's a real serious thing, man. Learn how to move, man. If you don't believe me, go to the normal site. N normal. N-O-R-M-L, I believe. And look under Georgia. Just, if you in Georgia, just look at the law, bro. Look at the law, man. This shit is crazy. The numbers they're giving out. Still, why right, people in the legal states getting busy. So, man, if you want to play the right way, I suggest, man, you do the legal gas money. I mean, legal gas money dot cloud. That's right. Check it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm using tech that I learned from the brother. He taught me the game how to do the I man. I That's like right. that, that for that 48, that 40 AI. 40, 40 acres. 40 acres, yeah, acres for in the AI. AI and a mule. Yeah, and, and yeah, yeah, I learned, I learned, I learned how to do what I need to do. That 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 shit help you, man. So that's just applying what you learn. That's what we do. We it's you gonna buy applicable. Don't buy the course applicable. and don't apply it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So yeah, man, do that, man. But yo, this this a whole nother show we gotta do just to tell you about that part, man. But I'm you know We're gonna I'm, do I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, this is the new platform right here, KTL Plus. I'm gonna platform you. And we'll do a whole interview about this legal gas thing because that's very important. And we'll also preview parts of the course that you have. You know what I mean? And I suggest that y'all are out there that you support the brother and go and get that course and, you know, change Absolutely. your penitentiary chances to a legal business. Yeah, make a Not business a hustle. Out of it. Yeah, make a business out of it. Make it a brand. And we got a you petition. Level it up. Yeah, level petition. it up. Tell them about the petition to one more time. Just, just yeah, last so... Yeah. We also are um, pushing a petition where we can extend the farm bill past the uh, September date because it's scheduled to get cut off this September. 
right? So we want our people to sign up our, to our petition so we can reinforce it getting passed. And the continuance of this bill will still allow you to continue participating in the legal weed game. That's right. That's right. You know I mean? That's important. So we're going to get the petition signed, you know what I mean? And with that being said, family, we are going to take a 10-minute break, and we will be right back uh, with more of Melanin and Monday. Monday. Give it up for my guests. You know what I'm talking about? Please give it up for my guests and give it up for yourselves, all right? Take a smoke break, water break. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, check on the little ones, and we'll see you in 10 minutes. Rock out to some music. We'll see you in 10 minutes. Check out the announcements and the commercials. Peace. people are on there. Press vote.
companies are moving in that direction to do such, right? So let's check this out. And then we have Devin, right? The world's first autonomous agents. Let's check out Cognition AI just unveiled Devin, the quote unquote first AI software engineer. Now, if you've watched my channel at all, you know they're not the first, but still, their demos were quite impressive, but the amount of traction that their marketing got over the last few days, that was the most impressive part of the entire thing. Being the quote unquote trans, the quote unquote transhumanism agenda, right? Not to be trusted. Uh, Peter Thiel is the face behind um, the PayPal mafia, okay? Once again, not to raise any alarms or anything, but yeah, he is a character amongst many characters, but he is what we Using chat GPT and different GPTs to scrape the internet. Oh, let me, I, got, I got one nugget there. I got one nugget there. Go to Facebook ad library. Peace, 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 peace,
We have a master class every month, at least two of them, you get it over there. We also have daily posts with technology news mostly, but it's also other news. We're gonna bring on more contributors so we could just continuously use that as a repository for this research and this information. And for my 99 Patreon dollar members, you have access to the Discord and there's a whole bunch of perks that come with every tier, but it's free for every single person if you feel that you just wanna be in the building. But if you want them perks, then you become one of those tiers. Yes, 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 yes. Shout out to all of my Patreons, my KT aliens. Shout you out, dig? Shout, shout out, out to all of my Patreons, my KT aliens. Y'all are actually, you know, the benefactors and the ones who will benefit the most off of this studio that we have. You know, uh, this upgrade that you see right here. That's all. Y'all are responsible for that. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all are the ones who are one of the ones or the investors and y'all y'all more than just the dreamers. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all are the streamers. You know. So shout out to y'all. Stream chasers. Salute. Salute. You dig? So, brother Blue Pill. Yes indeed. Man. Peace to the God. Peace to the God, man. How's everything? First of all, happy New Year's, man. Happy yeah, New Year's. New Year. Yes indeed. Yes indeed. Oh uh, man. I seen you, yeah, your winter. Your, your, your hero's yeah, yeah, journey yeah, yeah, through the yeah, winter yeah. was a very interesting one. The best way that I could describe it is it, that it went from all white to colorful. Hold on. Went from all white to colorful, baby. You don't find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious? It was interesting. So they say in the winter... You know, the Netta rules who are in tune with nature, they hibernate like the <clears throat> animals hibernate, mm -hmm. or what we would call God's gifts, you know. And in our hibernation, skin is shed, you know, um, change is inevitable. So in the hibernation, rest is taken, and a new version of self emerges in the spring when you spring forward. In that time, though, in that hibernation or a cocoon, that is considered a very dark time, right? People describe it as the dark night of the soul. Right. And then other people who don't know how to describe it or how to catalog it describe it as I'm having a hard time. Right. And then other people diagnose it as, yo, I'm depressed, I'm stressed, I'm yeah, ready to give up. I'm frustrated, I'm frustrated. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. frustrations, I'm emo. You know what I mean? I hate it here. Let me take my coat off. I hate it here. You know, all of these all of these reactions and whatnot. So based on people's level of knowledge and level of information and level of understanding about what's going on, that's how they're able to perceive things. Right? So we know that winter depression is real. And winter depression to me is just hibernation. It means you're supposed to be sitting down and going through the changes. And everybody that I know, it didn't it didn't matter who I talked to. Everybody that I know was showing me signs that they were really in touch with nature this year. And I was excited for them cuz I was like y'all are really on some netaru shit because you really supposed to be going through with the, the stuff that y'all saying that you going through, you right on time. You supposed to be going through that. How about that? You feel me? The same way that some, the same way that that bear that's hibernating right now, it looks like you should be hibernating too, bro. I tried to do like five things this this winter, and all five of them got shot down. Like they had, uh, like they had the laser guided missiles on that thing. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It got descended. All my plans got disintegrated. Like, spirit was like, nah, you gotta sit down, bro. You can't move around. Not in the summer, not in the uh, winter. But now here we are in the spring and we're springing forward. And it's us anew. And it's almost like people are being reborn again. The amount of good news that I'm seeing on my timeline just in the past three days is crazy. It's almost like as soon as Future dropped that mixtape, oh, things was 
in their bag. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Everybody was like, yo, it's spring again. You know? He brought an early spring like the hedgehog Phil. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, they was like, oh, if this is what the summer's going to sound like, I'm ready for it. I'm here for it. So a lot of people that I'm talking to are saying, yo, my it's almost like my dreams are getting cashed in. You know what I mean? Like my what I was manifesting is manifesting. It's giving manifestation in these early days of before Easter even hit. It's, this might be a real crispy Easter. So we're just going to have a few uh, highlights as to what is taking place after this uh, planet is in post-solar flares, post-twin solar flares, you know, leading up to the April elf, the April 8th uh, solar eclipse, you know what I mean? And also uh, all of the pillar prophecies that have taken place since the last time we just got up. Forget about when we did when in Rome. Forget about <laughs> when we did uh, the quantum quickening. You know what I'm talking about? Forget about a year ago when I was with Brother Rich and we did Masters of the Universe. Mm -hmm. We should do a year in review on that. Like, where we at a year later? What's popping? Exactly. And that's something that we're going to be... Right. And that's we're going to have the blue pillar build on all of this. So I want to know from the good brother... With all of these events taking place, I mean, a day doesn't go by where about 10 events are not just overlaying each other of monumental proportions. And there's only a few people on this planet that I know who uh, could compute at, at set a, such a precise speed next to the Blackwell computer chip is Brother Blue Pillar 44. So can you break down all of the things that, that are going on in society these days leading up to your monumental... Uh, Good news that you're gonna announce. I mean, you know, again, we 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 have the ability to to have a holistic observation or view of things. So nothing is separated, divided, or compartmentalized. You know, what I'm saying everything is, for the most part, connected. Right. Um. So with that being said, like. We introduce a concept called micro macro. Micro you know macro. If you yeah. want to understand something on a macro level, get to know it on a micro level. That's right. Right? And also this aspect of how spirit goes from the spirit and then it descends into matter. So restoring order, understanding the way that things manifest, right? Right. And emphasizing, right, with manifestation as well as malady. It comes from the spirit realm and it descends into the physical. Malkuf. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. right. It descends into Malkuf, into the physical realm where it can be, you know, where it's read. Where it's right? realized. It can be realized. Right. Where it forms. So, exactly. So if we were to even take an observation of the calendar of events over the last few days, because you mentioned the Brother Future. That's coming right. Out, you know, with music. That's right. And we make this observation that uh like almost to the day <coughs> that the season went into Aries. Yes. Right? On the eve lining up to three twenty two, which we know is a very auspicious number when it comes to Masonic or owl organizations. Right, right. Right. And now we have these two Scorpios engaging in a level of battle where at the same time you see the same things overlaying itself in politics with them becoming symbols on a global stage for their political doppelgangers. <laughs> where, where you got to understand that Future is born the same day as Joe Biden. Wait, what? Hold on. You don't find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious. <laughs> you don't find that suspicious. Yeah, you see, on my yeah. TikTok. And hold on. <laughs> November 20th. Hold right. on. My nigga could have went TikTok platinum. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Hold on. 
fuck is this? He's gonna win Tech Top Five. The same day, bro. What? Same day, huh? Same day. That's crazy. Yeah. They the doppelgangers. Right. So right now you see in politics that Biden is going against Bibi. Right. 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 So the dude that represents the the Yahudi, who I don't think that he's a Scorpio as well. Right. You feel me? But he represents Scorpionic energy over there. Very Scorpionic. He's doing the shit that he's doing. Extremely. You feel me? Right. So. And that's attached to um, Charles. Right. But Drake or Draco would be the doppelganger in the game for that level of energy in terms of the interplay of them overlaid as politicians. Right. You know what I'm saying? So Future and Drake got this relationship that would be consistent or to be, you know, that can be correlated to how we could say right, right. Bibby and Biden got a relationship, which both of them is they got a strained place in a relationship. And it's the same thing with these Scorpios, right? Mm-hmm. But his real attack is coming from a Hebrew Israelite, right? Who's now... Gemini. Right, uh, all, right. Who's conjoined as a Gemini, another right? Gemini. With another Gemini, and you got vultures perched on the motherfucking <laughs> on the branch that a Gemini is just waiting to see whose bones they're gonna pick apart when after the Civil War shit pops off. Right. So this is for yay supremacy. Right. You know they put the they put the uh, <laughs> they put the press release out. Right. Hello. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Get this work, man. Yeah, you, you, you won't notice <laughs> that that man name is not Kanye West. First, but he gonna get this work. He gonna get this work. Say that man name is Yeah. 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 You feel me? So, again, like I said, we 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 see a time where the evidence of that, because the whole world witnessed it, right? It was the midnight of three twenty one. And the atmosphere starts. Oh, there's a battle. Oh, this nigga's going after this nigga. So the energy that that creates and melanated minds. Right. By the time the morning of 322 comes and the cauldron is already being cooked, because son is like, oh, son is cooking them. That means something different in the culture, but it elicits the same response as if somebody was literally outside getting cooked. Right, right. Or, or niggas was on sun helmet and, you know what I mean? Right. His life is literally still at stake. Right. You feel me? And it was a chess move, and it was unsuspected. And it's in the season of Aries, so it's competition. Right. And it's a blood sport. That's a big blood sport. Because then now they brought in the bloody, and son is going for blood. Yeah. You feel me? And it can get ugly because there's an overlay of attached to it because when you assume this throne to say that you are the top of the game, you're saying that you are on par with the king of New York. The king of New York had to give it up in blood, right? Mm-hmm. Son was playing a game that he couldn't win. When you got one foot in the streets with this shit, there's repercussions that come with it. So niggas had to be, they lost their blood. They was blood set. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was a major ebo that was done in hip hop that laid the foundation for murders that have happened ever since. Mm. Right? And it but, just so happens that your boy has every has something to do with right. that. Right. So right. The the lion corn. The, no, did he do it? Hashtag the, no diddy. Right. So diddy. he he is the Quincy of this era who has to compose the whole motif, the whole mystique around the motif. The motif is it was all a dream. The motif is uh, it's all about the Benjamins. The, the motif is hypnotized. The motif is fuck money, get bitches. The motif uh, is big pop up. Big pop. You know what I'm saying? The motif is everything <clears throat> that son brought with the shiny suit era. Money holes, bank right. rolls, and clothes. Right? Mm-hmm. And money the, holes, the, bank the, rolls, the, and clothes. The prospecious, the prospecious time that they came in was. My mic? All right. In the time of 95 or 96, when they went for the the full grip on the quote-unquote throne in New York, they had to go through Wu-Tang. 
They had to. So it was a showdown that took place at Summer Jam. Summer Jam. Right. You feel me? And Son of them was trying to clown Puff because the nigga had dancers on stage. And you know what I'm saying? Niggas had a, a full right. theatrical situation production. put together, production put together, and they was doing shit professionally. And that that wasn't yet understood in the quote unquote game is like, yeah, the this is where this part, right? Yeah, this is where this shit is going. They the, doing this for this. Niggas was clowning that. Right. Right. It was too hard. They was too hard at that point. Right. But but some of them is like, this is like my production. Like I'm paying these bills over here. Y'all shit is not as hot as you think it is. I don't think you would want to go against me in an arena like that. And I think that some of them took the challenge and ended up getting kicked off for Hot 97. They couldn't, they wouldn't play Wu-Tang's records for a minute, and that kind of finished years. them yeah, in the New York market. Yeah, and that kind of undercut their whole shit. But it was really about a cultural shift mm -hmm. because with Puff and them coming with, they moved the five-pointed energy in hip-hop that had run through hip-hop since the five-pointed energy, since hip-hop was five pillars from the beginning. So that conscious element, you know, the last... Mohicans of that shit would be Wu Tang. Yeah. Right. And then Sun came in with the six pointed energy that was purposely doing the bidding of the six pointed star situation that was the ones that put him in the game to begin with. Right. And that particular six pointed star is born on April 4th. Right. Clive Davis. Right. Clive. Right. Right. Clive. No down dirty. Keebler. Who. Right. If you go to the Whitney movie, you can see in the scene where he has Whitney in the office signing the contract. He got a, 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 a what you call it, like a, a poster, right? Right. A picture of a square within a square within a square within a square, right? Mm. And he's there talking to her about signing in perpetuity. I'm like, look how they lined this shit up. And right, son no. was the, he was the one, he was the direct, you know what I mean? He put the bread up to get this shit done. Right. So I'm like, on some, right. yeah, on some director, directorial shit, you know, specifically, they put that image in there, angled the way that they did to have that conversation <laughs> to show you that these contracts was locking these people in. Lock boxes. And, and boxes. he was telling her, in perpetuity, in this universe and, and, and with it, you know what I'm saying? Wherever you like they roofing them. Right. And all multiverses. Right. We you got feel you me? Locked in. For a motherfucking signature. And people don't t take themselves that serious. But you could put yourself in a prison that you can never get out of with your ignorance to the power that you do have. And somebody see you coming and going, but they seen you before you even got there. Right. You feel me? So. Right. Is the game ever, ever fair if they see you before you even got there? Mm. Somebody should have told you. And is they wrong for saying that? They like, nigga, somebody should have told you. You right, feel right. me? Right. This is the business that we right. in. Shit, we was right. in this business for your daddy and then what them niggas ain't tell you? They, oh, they, they, they oh they, that, yeah. oh, they okay. Oh, ah. damn, we forgot to tell y'all. Oh, man. Oh, we had... You mean we didn't tell you? Oh, oh shit. Okay. Get this work. We was at the Diddy. You, you, get this work. you mean at the all white party? We didn't talk about the contracts? But see, but see the hair. Oh, we had the white nail slip. pilot. Oh, you had, take that. Take that. What happened? So then, are those dependencies that come in because of situations like that? Right. If you don't got guardians at the gate, right? Because they always got to be guardians at the gate. People just knocking the concept of a gatekeeper. They always got to be somebody checking to make sure. The wolf don't sneak in. The 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 chickens then you know dressed as motherfucking chicken little. But the guardians right? of the gate. But the 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 new guardians of the gate became the boule. And what the boule does at the gate, where they allowing you to come into the wolf. They allow the uh, the chickens to come into the into the den where the wolf is at. They're no longer the guardians of you. They're the guardians of the estate. You feel me? Right. So that's what happened. Is that we got all of these uh, turncoats and all of these quote unquote boule types? Guardians this, of the gate became guardians, the guardian of the, guardians of the estate. Guardians of the estate, and it's still running like that. To this day! To this day! To this day! To this day! Yeah, man. So that's very interesting, Brother Blue. You know? Um, so, um. Yes. You know, today we find ourselves on. Uh, March 25th, 
You know yeah, what I'm saying? 25. This is a day that I always remember it etched in my memory because we was in the business of acquiring and selling CDs for wholesale and resale, but really in bulk. We had a plug. Right. Mm -hmm. We had a plug and we, we had, had a, a we had a fence. We had somebody that would always pay us twenty dollar per C D. Yes. Life After Death was an album that did not get bootlegged. Nobody had an advanced copy. You did not know or hear any of this music outside of Hypnotize and um What's Beef. What's Beef, beef right? Beef. Oh, yeah. So that was the no only ditty. that was the only singles that people had. We heard snippets of some other shit. Small snippets. Right? Downfall, yeah. maybe, or something else. Yeah, downfall. We, but when that album dropped, and it was on a Friday. Ooh. Uh, you feel I looked, me? I looked it up. It, it, was, was, a, it was a Tuesday. Okay. Ooh. It's Tuesday drop. Release day. The funeral was on the 18th. Was, it was a Tuesday. Okay. And then a week after, the album Bang. dropped. The album dropped Bang. on the 25th. Okay. Tuesday. So they lines it on okay. Mars days. Right. Right? So the album dropped, because all albums came out on Tuesdays Tuesday, prior to that. Then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the album drops on a Tuesday, and this shit is a double album, so we get paid twice from the fence. Man. We was going to Sam Goody's and getting bop. Look, let me not. Yeah. I actually purchased this album out of respect. You know what I'm saying? And this is an album, again, that went on to sell a diamond. Diamond. Right? 10 million sold posthumously, cementing him as the GOAT at that time out of the big three. Biggie, Big Jay-Z, and Nas. That's right. He ascends and takes the throne with him because the King of New York or Frank White is a throne that goes with Frank White. Frank White gets clipped in a movie, so be careful who you name yourself after. That's right. But the throne goes with him. There will never be another King of New York because you can't dethrone the King of New York that has the title. That's right. Who the title was made for. That's right. It's only one Frank White. Only one Frank Wizard. Right? Only and, one. and as 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 asinine and hip hop ish as this conversation might sound, this individual who said it was all a dream, dream, created a mental scene, scene, right, out of a routine scene. that required no pen or paper on the scene. Scene. Mm -hmm. He just went into the booth and told you what was seen. Scene. When he closed his mind and his inner eye, he started writing out. The shit that we would still mimic today that we hear talking about to this day. To this day. To this right? day. We, we was all invited suspicious. into this man's dream. You don't find that suspicious. To this day. And he orchestrated the introduction to the lifestyle that later people will get the blueprint for that boxed them in that they have never been able to get out of the box of. Right. Right. Until now, we're finding out what they was doing with the box when they was boxed in. Right. You feel me? Mm. Right. And 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 all of this shit comes full circles 27 years to the day that life after death comes out. Right. And again, the only reason that this, this individual named Puff Daddy gets a pass is because of his association with B.I.G. Right? right? Who we knew at that time... You know, some wasn't necessarily energetically rocking with his cohort. It was a business situation that he was attempting to finalize once the album was released and he was going to go about his business and do his own thing. So the minute before the, even, the body even cooled, you know, Puff reemerges on stage with Missing You and then he gets the sympathy you know what I'm saying? Right, right. He gets the swell of sympathy mm -hmm. that the world had the loss for B.I.G., the best to ever do it in only a three-year span. We're speaking about a catalog that only was produced over three years. In that pocket of time, this man is considered to be the GOAT. So you got to think about compensation. If LAPD was complicit in clipping him and unaliving him and his mother was able to get the... The lawsuit situated, they got to pay her for every day that he's been deceased. Right. They got to pay gonna her perform. for his performance fee every day. And I believe that he was getting half of M at the time of his, um, you know, untimely demise. <laughs> so they would have to go in the calculator and multiply that from 27 years ago to today. Mm. And L.A. would owe her that. 
mm-hmm. and she would have bankrupt the entire city of L.A. Right, and that's the situation that they found themselves in in 2015 when she she won the um the judgment against them. Look it up, mm-hmm. and and they flipped it on her at the last minute and threw the files away and did some other shit and just pretty much buck like yo we not paying you that, you know what I'm saying? But she had them, um, she 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 had them by the by the wazoo, and she was able to show and prove that the LAPD had something to do with with Big getting clipped or at least covering it up. Mm-hmm. Now that there was a complicit factor, right? So I'm, all I'm saying, I like to say that last year I kept telling people that this year would be the year that Big got vindicated. It At least there was going to be more light on the case, and we definitely was going to hear more say about that. him. You did say right? that, and it Bill started prophecies. in the beginning of January with the dude who hopped over the motherfucking counter, right. went after the and judge, went after the judge in Las Vegas, had the right. Biggie shirt on. That was wild. One of his most famous pictures. Right? Yeah. So, he represents a, a a prototype, almost like if you look at the 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 the, the construct that we've been held under is like a snow globe, right? If he represents the firmament of the snow globe, but the contents inside was baked up by Sean Diddy Combs. That's right. And he he has been the Savalant, the the uh, Sengali, yeah, the Sengali yeah. of the orchestra, the Gepet- Gepetto, right? He's a Geppetto. Repurposing ashes and the, over the, the and architect. over again. Yeah, repurposing ashes, repurposing yes. ashes. And His whole legacy is cooking. built off of, you know what I'm saying, homie, homie's body. Yeah. His body, he just literally been, his body of yeah, work. His literally his body of work. <laughs> the and bodies his body. of work. <laughs> the bodies that work. You know what I mean? Yeah, bodies he knows at how to work. Work the bodies that the bodies yeah, at work. They catching bodies at work. And then yeah, if you, and yeah, if you come through. To see him for work, then he catch you as a body, and he be like, "A body, son." If you come through for work, literally, if he gonna catch a body. <laughs> you yeah, body on his belt. He's like, "Yeah, body that nigga." Wait, you mean you? I need all bad boy <laughs> artists to check in. <laughs> I need all bad boy artists to check in. Talking about no fly zone, huh? What? They said that DJ Quick saw what happened. Yo, I heard DJ Quick perm turn to an afro and he saw what happened. He started drawing what? locks. He said what happened. He saw some shit happen. DJ Quick saw some quick shit happen. Oh man. He saw some quick shit. So we got you you did plane landed on this? I mean, yeah, I mean for the most part, like I said. The things that we observing, it all fits into a broader narrative. And the best way that we can explain it, because every part and piece connects, Yes, I put together a presentation called The Black Christos Mythos. Yes. You feel me? Because ultimately, this is all fitting into the narrative of this yes. black Christos. Yes. You feel me? And we find ourselves here in Holy Week. Yes. Yesterday, the Pope sat that one out. He couldn't even do the hominy on... Uh, Yes. Palm Sunday. So, you know, Pablo steps up to the plate and he wins again. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Number 84 was classic. He had to sit that one out. He gonna get this short. Yeah, he gonna get this short. He did call it. He did call, call, it. He he did call it. Been calling it. You know what I mean? Um, you know, we, we, we're here at that pinnacle point in time. But, yeah, I got a presentation that's coming forward. We're going to make that part of the Good Brothers April 7th. Yes. Uh, offering. Yes. You feel me? Along with a key And it would only make sense because my narrative wouldn't be possible. To this day. Right. To this day. My narrative would not be possible without the input of, of both individuals. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And with the help of our good brother, uh, Tariq Bay, you know, with, uh, you know what I'm saying? We're, We're going to craft PR. something that y'all yeah, never yeah. seen before. We're we, we going to take y'all into the future on God, on everything. Right. We're going to put together something that is unprecedented. <laughs> unprecedented. You know, uh, it's that time. Never seen before, but uh, yeah. definitely going to shift the paradigms. Hashtag thank me later. Hashtag right, yeah. vulture culture. Hashtag April 7th. Hashtag one day before the solar eclipse. Hashtag Al Kibalon 44. Hashtag Rich Phil, Filth 44. Hashtag Blue Pillar 44. Man, this is it, y'all. We are going up. 
I promise you. Y'all ain't gonna see me until then. We cooking. Look how the great divine speaks through signs, right? The great divine is speaking. Ever since we made the announcement, just go back. It been a month ago since we said vulture culture. And now you fully understand what it is that we mean by vulture culture. I remember when we started a month ago, just to show you how powerful the word is, and we say, speak that, you know, you have to be, you know, mindful of the power of the word because you speak things into existence, right? Mm -hmm. There's a white paper called Attention is Everything. It's the most important white paper in the history of AI, right? It, it, right. It's going to go down as the most important white paper of this time. Right. It's called attention is all you need. You could go. You could. Anybody could go and read it. And there's also the double slit experiment that talks about attention and consciousness. Right. So when we put attention to things, then we see it begin to blossom out. A month ago, nobody knew who Playboy Cardi was. They just they heard his. They didn't even never heard his name or. When you say, yo, son, son is running shit, they be like, yo, Red and them be smoking at GMO, right? That's that stuff they be talking about is true GMO. about them niggas. Yeah, they Illuminati, right? That, that It got to be true. Them niggas Anunnaki, right? Because they be saying right. anything. That's pseudo, man. <laughs> I came with aesthetic nihilism, right? Right. And I came to the community and I gave people uh, a dissertation, right? A masterful dissertation on uh on on a platform and we were like yo what's going on with the younger generation right right it's not about affecting or it's not about anything it's the fact that there are millions upon millions of boots on the ground y'all call them the younger generation or whatever but what it is is this is a standing army of 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 energy you know what I mean of some uh it's almost like Dragon Ball Z in a sense like they are a force right right and they have an aesthetic and they have um, a, a philosophy that they're following. And sometimes that philosophy changes. But eight times out of ten, there are artists that represent whatever that philosophy is. Right. So if you're trying to get into the philosophy, you'll just be like, yo, you go to, you know, when you go to somebody's city and you be like, yo, who the hottest dude out here? And they be like, oh, that's son, son, um, you know, Boogaloo Bang Out. You know what I mean? He from over there by the deli and whatnot. He the hottest in the city. And then um, there's a shorty over there. Her name is Ice Cream uh, Jennifer Lee. And she's, you know, she be she be kicking the sprinkles and shit. Ball. Right. Yeah, ball. You don't find that suspicious. Jennifer Lee. <laughs> you don't find that suspicious. <laughs> Do you work the ball? You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. Yeah, while we, yeah, while we cook. Hold up, he gonna get this work. So, you know, you don't find that suspicious. Nah, nah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so it's like everybody is able to tell what your people is on and what your neighborhood is on based off of the most popular, the popular rapper or who has the quote unquote. Who's repping the hood? Right. Right? So who's repping the hood is basically in the spiritual game who's wearing the crown. Right? Because who's repping the hood is really the one who's dictating to a national and a regional and a global audience how your hood moves, what they on and what they not on. You know what I mean? If they with the shits or what they not the shits, you know, you were even willing to show the world that y'all ain't with the shits, cause y'all got about ten bodies and whatnot, and you you so you you know you you so with the shits, you rap about it, mm. and you drop blues clues on niggas and everything. You be at the grave site, like I ain't gonna say that I did it, but if I did, this is what it would look like, baby Kia. Ah, incarcerated, I can't sleep. What? what, what? <laughs> Third and ten, crash out, niggas. You know what I'm saying? And then we have baby Kia when it's all said and done. You know? In this culture, it's like we can't act surprised when the biggest uh, TV show on TV is BMF season three. Like, y'all are with the shits and y'all want it. So I'm not going to sit around and act fake. Oh, yeah, fake outrage. I, I know, right? These rappers are going crazy. No, y'all niggas want y'all rappers as crazy as Jeffrey Dahmer. 
you would prefer that if it, if they if 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 their lawyers are good enough to help them get away with it, niggas is like, you know what? I'll turn the cheek if the music is hit. If it's a bop, keep it coming, my nigga. Right? If it's a bop, like, niggas gonna get this one. Right? Like, <laughs> it's a bop though. It's a bop though. But did you bop to it? On God. On God. I know that this nigga ate his roommate, but did you bop to it? <laughs> but did you bop to it? That shit, yeah, I came home away. and I ate, yeah. I ate my roommate. Yo, that shit is a fucking, it, it, I, I, I turned up. You will get one of those yeah. all the time. The, like, the culture needed away. that. Yeah. <laughs> like, you got to obey the bop. You got to obey the You got to obey the I've been the around long enough to know. Wins. Huh? Said the bop always wins. The bop always win. Boy. Along with the internet. The bop is undefeated. Right. In the Matrix, it's like the Oracle and the um, architect. architect. It's the internet and it's the bop. The bop. Yeah, they eat cookies. They 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 conspire together, bro. Right, right. Yeah, the, the internet yeah, and the bop connect. is undefeated. You know, huh? The, bop the boppington. You know how to bop it? You can never beat the bop it. Lorena bop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can't <laughs> beat the bop it. You know what I'm saying? The boppington. So people know all you gotta do is make a hot song and you back in the game. Yeah. Back. Ask the baby. You know what I'm talking about? That nigga rolled out bowling balls into something. You don't find that suspicious that he just <laughs> You don't find I mean, that suspicious. I mean, you don't, back, man. You don't I mean, find that suspicious. My nigga, he moseyed his you way back onto suspicious. the charts. You know what I'm talking about? With with some bops. Some bops. Right. With some bops. I think they had my nigga at the GLAAD Awards <laughs> <laughs> opening up. <laughs> like, completely had production and everything. You know what I'm talking about? Mad twerkers and all of that. <laughs> Doing his shit like he, like he never, like it never happened. You know what I mean? So, you know, I call it poetic justice that Exactly the day to 25 years ago that our good brother dropped that prolific 27. album, 27, when the world stopped and whatnot, when the good brother, when hip hop died and the last great album dropped, that the good brother, uh, well, the un, the, the not so good brother, the brother that's not so good, no diddy, hashtag, gets his house raided by Department of Homeland Security, not the DEA. Not the FBI, mm. not the narcs, but the Department of Homeland Security under the investigation of trafficking, sex trafficking, uh, what they may call take that, take that, and taking that. Now, man, in a weird turn of events, there's even pictures floating around, and this is nothing to be... Um, you know, it's nothing to celebrate, but the, the 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 man's sons were in handcuffs. You know, so there's forever a picture of his progeny. You know, stain on the name, stain on the name. Uh, the dirt got mm -hmm. so legacy is, is legacy is not only in ruins in the public court of opinion, but we're beginning to see <clears throat> what that legacy is going to look like in the court of public law. Right, picked apart. This would be the scene of OJ in the white Bronco. Yes. Right? The proverbial Bronco scene. The proverbial Bronco scene took yeah. a new turn now on a global stage because keep in mind who P. Diddy is, not to us in America, but who he is around the globe. Let's just think about that for a minute. While you uh, put, pause the stars, the, the 50 Cent movie, Power and all of that, pause that. Uh, put put uh, Beyonce, Alexa, put Beyonce on pause. You know everything that you have, the Kendrick and the and uh and the Drake beef. Pause that and just think about who Diddy is on a global scale, right? Because he said black excellence and nobody challenged him. He didn't get no uh, battle rappers called him out. Nobody called him for a debate. 
There was no petitions by Change Org and whatnot. No challenge on a Breakfast Club. None of the conscious people who got on Vlad or any of the platforms before they left decided to throw something and be like, oh, but homie over there with that fake black excellence, that is not that. Right. That didn't happen. Right. So everybody around the world is like, P. Diddy's the president of black. Right. He represents mm -hmm. them. He's them. He's the king of them. He's the king of nigger dome. Hold on. Me. He ain't even get the second verse. What are you going to get this one? All of them. Hold on, man. He gonna... Right. He, he's, he's Harlem. He's social. He's the one that parties with us. The other Sean guy, he don't party with us. Right. He's not yeah, social. He's mysterious. Right. He's mysterious. He has right. a mystique, him and his wife. Every time we see it, she gets lighter. He's not She don't want to party with us. Right. right. So, yeah, he, he he's the one that's accessible, right? He's right. the Quincy, like I said. Somebody has to be Quincy of this era. Somebody has to be Clarence Levant. So that's the role that Jay plays, whereas Puff plays the role of Quincy. As a fact. But without, you know without the actual Chicago shit to Quincy, you know what I'm saying? It's built from so niggas don't play with his name. Hold on. No, but it's some New York shit. Hold on, let me add on something. It's the New York shit. It's the Zip shit. It's the Harlem shit. It's the Wolf shit. It's the niggas was really getting sent up early in that era shit. Like, nah, it's 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 just different, right? And then that, that gangster was challenged. Read that. That gangster was challenged. And, you know, eventually the challenge of that gangster, you know, uh, it, it, it met a lot of different, quote unquote, results. But in all cases, from Wolf to Big to Sean, right? Mm -hmm. You saw what you see now back then. And if you deny it, then you just part of that, uh, uh, I, I, you know, for this, we have sponsors out here. Shout out to all of our advertisers and sponsors. Yes, indeed. We will refrain from the use of uh, prohibited languages. But the bandwagoning that people do, yeah, they're just denying the fact that they saw that. They just want to lie to themselves and whatnot. But, yeah, law enforcement... It is, it's showing me when somebody says that he has something to do with Big's demise, I say to myself, the great divine speaks through signs. It's cl it's no clearer for me than what I saw today. It may, it's no clearer. You can't make this up. So this is spirit telling you clearly, yes, he had everything to do with both me and Pac's demise. So what are we dealing with in the fact that this man is being implicated for being the one who actually killed hip hop, right? This mm -hmm. breed, this man who's been getting away with so much underneath the noses of everyone. And if people knew what about what, how how deep this thing went, you know what's going on with them, right? And and, and that that just shows you that there's more dominoes that have to fall. Cause yeah, let's be clear. People attribute it, and they say that the downfall started with Cassie. I say the downfall Hell started no. with, Ke with, with Keefe D. Right. And making them Pac Keefe accusations. D. And Pac was having the illest year ever last year. His shit was building up. It was momentum. It was compounding. And then after he tells his story and renews himself from the hearts and the minds of the people, then you get this revelation that pops up. Right. And then... I go back and listen to this interview that already been on the internet. The shit sound totally different now. I'm like, damn. Like, you know. I mean, truthfully, it started with Kim so Porter, they switched, though. They switched the audio? Huh? They switched the audio? So no, it no. Different. It sound different. Like, back in the days, you you might have heard about it. Yo, did you hear this story? Did this dude Keefe D said about Puff paid him to kill? And slipped in the guy and zip and all. And it was like. Not only did I hear about it, but L.A. Times reporter Chuck Phillips used to put these articles out that I used to ha I used to be the one that used to contest him, and I used to hit back on some journalistic creed shit to be like, "Yo, you dead wrong. You gotta cite sources before you say shit like that." Because yeah. he was the first one putting out propaganda about who 
killed Big and who didn't. He was really just a plant to exonerate the LAPD and to keep any real news from coming out. So I used to blast him. So I kind of like, um, I heard this shit, but I ain't really paid too much mind. And the culture ain't move on it. And I just kept it moving. But when I went back and listened to the Keefe D interview and he kind of laid this shit out, we had heard so many podcasts from other people and you was already like in the mind frame of being fucking putting shit together in your mind that you heard people present so many different. I was being bombarded with information about Pac that I wasn't even looking for last year. His shit was on podcasts coming from every angle and I was able to compartmentalize what the picture might have looked like in my mind. So when I heard the description being told it was almost identical, yeah, I was like, oh, shit, there is a possibility. Because if Sun cut the check, I'm like, we know Zip. I was in the club that they saying the money bought. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yeah, this is not a, this is not a, 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 a hot, because Sun is going to have a blicker with him. And he going to make a nigga handle his business. Or else you can't be around him. You feel me? And I'm like, damn, if Sun is going to be able to show a trail that he did some sticky shit like that. But I'm like, I could tell because I heard it in the music. I heard it on Life After Death. When you listen to um, to Puff's incantations on certain songs, when he's talking greasy about Pac, he's talking to a nigga like he got him clipped. Or he's celebrating the fact that he got clipped. Let's be clear. It's like right. three songs. And this was what told, all right, fuck it. This was what told to me initially back when, when, when Sun first got touched, right? Right. They was like, the car had got broken into. The You know, like how now they telling you, yeah, son of them was going to see Sally Richardson and all of this shit. Mm -hmm. They was like, at some point, they said that one of their whips got broken into and the masters got, one of the master tapes got stole. So they was like, niggas in L.A. knew what was on that album and how them niggas was talking. Or one of them songs got played at the radio or some shit like that. But it came out, you know what I mean? Like a lyricist know, like, oh, this nigga, they talking, you know, subliminally slimy about something. Right. On some hip hop shit and think they're gonna play in our face. You know what I'm saying? And, and niggas are really out here trying to, they standing on the fact that, you know what I mean? They done took this man from us and shit and they out here celebrating and partying in front of us. Like, nah, we not, nah, son. Going for it. Man, going they was for calling it. the radio and shit like that, they said. Yeah, so, I remember that. Yeah. So they playing now like they ain't know. They damn sure knew. And they ain't take the proper protocol to secure the asset. You feel me? But son still ended up being the benefactor or the beneficiary for an estate. You know, that at some point, like I said, he was just selling ashes because the majority of his bread definitely came from that catalog. Vulture. He's yeah. been feeding off the carcass of that man that and his family. Catalog. Vulture. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Vulture culture. He been feeding off the carcass. And if he set that play up or if they was coming to catch his body and they wind up catching bigs, vulture. Bombs, please. Right. Vulture. You know what I'm talking about? And you know, Vulture. No, I'm just saying. No, no. I mean. And we in these days and times. And what his mama said, you know, primarily, like I said, that's the shit that always sat with me. I wrote a caption about it early about, you know, I just want to see Valletta get vindicated. That's you right. Know, I want to see Valletta get her, 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 just, her just due because his mama was like, yo, this nigga's a piece of shit. Like, that's right. She's like, he ain't stand on business when it came to my son. He ain't stand on business when it came to me. With the grandchildren you know what I'm saying? and all that. With none of that. He ain't take care of his B.I. Right. She was like, he can't. You don't find that suspicious? Yeah, she was like, he shouldn't be able to use my son's name like that because he's not taking care of shit. So <laughs> I'm going to take Valletta's word for it. And she was like, yo, you got to look in to see if son has something to do with something. You know what I mean? Like, this is what his mama was saying. And right. I was, when I heard her saying that shit, that gave me the renewed vigor to go back describing and laying it out, I was like, yeah, that, that don't sound too far from from reality. I was just like, I, you don't know a nigga with nerve that would do some shit like that. 
and then be right in niggas' backyards playing in their face. Right. Man. That's crazy. You but know, but that but, power but, trip, yeah, we also don't understand what that power trip and that flex for a Harlem nigga might look like. He might, you know what I'm saying? This is some shit that this nigga would do as some Scorpion. I'm going to step on your shit purposely. But I remember, man, when I heard that, um, that I'm um, going back to Cali zone. That's right. a big ass pass. Yeah. Right. And I remember the the dialogue between him and Puff. What right. like Cali? Like yeah. they was like, yeah. Cap? Nigga, right. like, like nigga, you sure? Right. Are you <laughs> sure? You, you checked on that? Right, I'm yeah. Gonna, yeah. I'm gonna follow Checking your lead. You know I'm a, yeah. I'm a, you checked on that? Yeah. I'm gonna follow your lead and not oh. ask no questions. Whole time he ain't really do the he didn't he didn't do that he didn't do the homework. That's what I'm saying. And, you know, I mean, it was just mad shit that went into not only the planning of it and the execution of it down to the last day of it. He was supposed to go to London. They held him back. He was supposed to be out there for a few days. They kept him for weeks. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want to initially go at all, and they forced it. You feel me? And that was the conversation in the streets at the time. That what? Them niggas was like, yo, why is Big still in London? The junior mafia niggas was like, yeah, this nigga had to go. I mean, he had to go to L.A. Why is this nigga still in L.A.? It's like, why is this nigga over there for this prolonged period of time? The last time I seen Big was right before he left. He was in the Bronx sitting in the, um, the Lexus Jeep. And the, his 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 leg was, what you call it, was, you know, band, he couldn't yeah. walk. And it was me and A.A. And he called A.A. to the whip, and it was they was building. Right. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> That was the last time we seen him. He was in the Bronx. He was like, yo, niggas is hating on me, son. He was like, I can feel this shit. It's real. He's like, especially these niggas up here, they fuck with son. You know what right. I'm saying? He's like, niggas hate me in my own city. Why, son? I'm, I'm, I'm about to, I'm about to, you know what I'm saying? Get my name. I'm about to, you know, come back for the throne. Right. You know what I mean? But he felt the hate. He felt, he knew the niggas wasn't, the, the, the city wasn't unified behind him. Because he wasn't taking a stance. Bronx niggas like, you got to spit, nigga. Like, we can't stand behind you if you're not going to motherfucking Remember, he got hate punched maker, in like, the mouth and he ain't punched back. Yeah, like, he got hit after nigga hit him up. Your mouth, yeah, like, he blood, yeah. after hit him up. And you went in the he corner. Fight like, back. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. Right. He, and he they like, the yeah, this is some street shit. They yeah. like, this ain't that. This is some other shit. Son, like, this is like, bloody. This like, is bloody. Like, son is, you got to Son body. already went for the juggler. You talking about your wit. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. But then you don't got the same value for the shit that nigga trying to hit you on. Pause. And it's like, then you don't see where you got to protect the queen on the ball. You don't understand that you already lost the chess move. You feel me? Because you over here fucking with this nigga, and he don't value the queen on the board. You know what I'm saying? And you can see <laughs> the type of energy that he's on. But he was telling you in the music as well. So yeah, Biggie back, Tupac back. You feel me? They coming, yeah, they coming for their justice. We yeah. seeing it play out in real life. You know what I'm talking about? Uh that's what 2024 represent, like Cat Williams said. All of these secrets are coming to uh to light. Right. You know, no the, one shall escape people, judgment. Yeah, people are gonna start um, you know, testifying and whatnot and, and, and speaking on things because the vulture culture, you know, the lights are coming on. The culture vultures are getting exposed by the vulture culture, you know. There's a civil war in hip-hop the same way that there's going to be a civil war in politics against the nation, against white folk, against white folk, color, and none of that matters, even what they call your tax bracket and whatnot. That's not going to matter as well. There's a civil war between liberals and what they call the right wing. There's a civil war between Islam and Christianity. There's a civil war between what they call the gays and the straights or the cis. There's a civil war between FBA and the ones from across the pond and whatnot, what they call the teethers or the tethers. Man and AI. Huh? There's a civil war between man and AI. There's a civil war between migrants and um, urban cities and the residents in those urban cities, which would be those cities poor or the lower class or the um, working class. There's a civil war between 
uh, GPTs and LLMs in the working class. Right. You know, there's a civil war between augmented reality and real reality, augmented bodies and natural bodies. So when we say war and rumors of war, we're not just, you know, um, utilizing hyperbole. You know, we're, we're really identifying and highlighting the fact that in this season of Aries, um, it is doing what it's supposed to do. You know, it's one of those things where, it's, you know, it's, it's a... It's a beautiful, uh, you know, it's a beautiful tragedy is what they call it, you know. Uh, March Madness is giving what it's supposed to give. The fact that hip-hop is heated up right now and we saw the dividing or the splitting of the Red Sea in such a short amount of time. And um, day by day, pillars begin to fall. There were shots taken on one side. And then there was a immediate uh, team that began to form, and the players are beginning to take the field, and the stage is set. What is the coincidence, Brother Blue, that we find in the sign of Aries, right? Right. It all in the month of March, during the Ides of March and March Madness, that we have all of these verses, all of these battles, all of these polar opposites and whatnot. Is this coincidence? Is this a sign of the times? Is this something that has to do with the 44? Is this uh, only because we're in 2024? 20, Please talk to us. Let us know, bro. I mean, yeah, we, you know... This is this uh, very intense period in, in Aries. You got the eclipse today, you know, leading into the total solar eclipse on the 8th. So both yes. of those energy spectrums are very, very much polarized. And we see a lot of, quote-unquote, competitive energy, right? Mars or Martian energy yes. very prevalent at this particular point in time. So... There's a lot of um, aggression, as you said, you know, antagonist, you know. Right. Antagonistic energy, antagonistic protagonists. Right. Back and forth, pulling and pushing. The duel of dualism. The duel of dualism. You know what I'm saying? Yes. The, 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 the duel of dichotomy. dualism. The right? dichotomy. Yeah, that, that, that dichotomy thing is, is coming apart at the seams. Yes. You know, because in this political election season, is pick your side and stick to it. You feel me? Pick a side and stick so to it. That's right. the energy that's just being replicated all the way down the board. Exactly. It's, it's forcing people to make decisions and X, Y, Pick a side, yeah, right. Reevaluate yeah. things and reassess. So, you know, it's just that period in time. So it's going to be intensified because we're in this eclipse season. We're in a season of Aries. It is a 44 year, and that's heavy 44 energy. And um, like I said, the minute that we came into the season of Aries, they set it off in hip hop where on the, the night of the 31st leading into the 22nd at midnight, they released the album and that album has on it, you know, the, uh, the song that would be considered to be a sneak attack or the warning shots. Right. You know, for what can be considered to be you know, a, a, a pivotal engagement in hip-hop that we can see as a battle that still has that Aries energy templated on it because it's in the spirit of competition. Right. But it's lyrical and it's visceral because now it represents an apex predator that's coming for a nigga that might be soft as a panda. You know what I'm saying? A formidable foe. Or a formidable foe. So, you know... It, it remains to be seen, and the tension that's created from that, the tension created from the suspension as to what's the response going to be, you know what I'm saying? What's the reaction going to be? And that's what everybody's... What's, what's the beef about? Yeah. So, yeah, people, yeah there's so much... The beef about? This, yeah, so now that's a whole backstory. There's a whole narrative that has to be 
fleshed out and explained and understood. But for children of this time, this is their version of in our time, 27 years ago, it was the battle of the big three then. Yeah. And that was Biggie, Jay-Z, and Nas. Mm-hmm. And like right. I said, but with Big being the king of New York and that being a title connected to Frank White, he transitioned with that title. Right. So there can never be another king of New York because you can't dethrone the current king of New York. That's right. a title that he took with him. It's a loft. Right. It's a divine title. He was immortalized with it. Right? Yeah. And, again, this is a, a person whose body of work only existed in a three-year span. Right. And we're still talking about him as if he's the GOAT, but it's specifically for the body of work that was put out today, 27 years ago. So I would ask you around the table real quick, what was your favorite song off of Life After Death? Well, I like kicking the door, you know. Um, that was a dope song, mm-hmm. you know. Um, the R. Kelly joint, um, that shit was fire. Once a Beef right. was one of the good songs as well. Right. right. Yeah. Um, Long Kiss Goodnight, definitely R- Rizzo Production. Right. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. One of the craziest. Yeah, right, I think right. that might be my favorite one. Yeah. Yeah. And... Yeah. Um, Niggas bleed. Crazy. Yeah. Right. Crazy. Niggas be cinematic. Can't tell me like a song I wrote. Woo! <laughs> That's my favorite. That's your shit, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 New Sorry York, to tell. New York Nick, nigga. Yeah. Sorry yeah. to tell. Sorry yeah. to tell, that baby. That's fire. Mm. Yeah. Crazy. Piece of art. Yeah. Yeah. Long yeah, kiss. Joints in there. Long yeah, kiss. Man. Right? Yep. Long kiss. Crazy. Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. Crazy. Yeah. That's my shit. But Everyday I'm struggle. You know what I'm saying? Now we're yeah. talking about life after death. Life after death, right. Um, my favorite is the last track. Mm-hmm. Nobody to somebody. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just right, for me. Right, I'm just saying. Cool, yeah. Right. I had a lot of favorites on that album, and I sat with this album. This shit was like, it'll tell you this shit was biblical. Like, it was my Bible. Like, it was. This yeah, one, this too. two. Like, everywhere. Like, this is my shit. Right. But after long, long, plenty of nights, many a rides up and down turnpikes, the one that sets the mood that really fucking created the atmosphere for me where this shit got real. Right. Where the goddamn, you seen that, yeah, nigga, that, you, you, in the, you got one foot in the graveyard listening to motherfucking, you nobody to somebody. To this day. Kill you. you. To this day. I don't yeah. want to die. Uh, Girl, tell me why. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, His no, flow on that. I was the like the way that he just, uh, the, the way that dope. he painted on that. He you walked feel me? On that shit. And walked, walked through that, that shit. shit. That shit was like walking on clouds. Oh, yo, remember, Blue? You had to send me the lyrics. Yeah. You had to write them out because I couldn't even hear the album, bro. Couldn't hear the album. So where I was bidding that, I used to have to write him letters where I wrote all their lyrics out. And that's the way that I communicated the new music that was out to him. I had to send it to him in lyric form. Word. So this is the shit that started me, you know, wanting to write. Right. Because I'm like, oh, this shit is poetic. Like, look at this shit. Yeah, right. I, well, I would have said this instead, and the shit would have connected and hit and rhymed on this sequence. But Spirit was like, do it your own, you know what I'm saying? Do your own shit. Don't be yeah, there criticizing yeah, these niggas' yeah, shit. That right. shit was perfect, nigga. That nigga, that nigga shit slapping your shit might have thought. It was like, do your own shit. I was like, all right, fuck it. Let me let me challenge myself. And that's where that came from. But yeah, I used to have to write the, uh, the lyrics out for him. And by far, yeah, that was that was the song that uh, summed it up for me. I'm like, this shit is classical. Like, yeah. this is the illest of a lifetime. I'm like, and Son Transcended, I'm like, that's crazy because like, this shit is, this nigga made a classical double album. Right. Can't, and you I'm like straight, see yeah, from top to bottom. I used to play that shit. Right, no skips. The, the big, right. thick CD so. case about that yeah. thick. <laughs> so you feel me? And we know when it's all said and done, that man was in the wrong place at the wrong time. What about you? Ray you know Ray? what I mean? Yeah. What's your favorite? What's your favorite one? Life on life after death, though. Right. right. Yeah, man. The GOAT. 
you know, and that mo- that album was a movie. You know and what though? I hated this one thing. I was gonna throw on it. I hated. I hated the fact that when that interview came out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like when Big Al my job. That shit was hard. But when the interview came out, when Pac, because I was like, when Pac was saying the shit he was saying, like them niggas had something to do with that. Right. It changed my whole thing towards Big. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I wish that ain't that happened because I think, you know, we was kind of like robbed at first of a join the music. You right, know what I'm saying? right, because right, right. Yo, Pac was our man. It's like, yo, right, right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. Like, yo. And Big was on a me? run. Yeah. He was on a run uncontested. And then when right. Pac came out of left field and just raised questions about him, it just was like, skrrr. <laughs> so people had to pick a side. Yeah, and then back they then. missed out on what he had to offer mm-hmm. until years later when they revisited it. Like, damn, some was going in, bro. I wish I would have really enjoyed that moment yeah. because he was going. He wasn't, He wasn't. you know what I mean? He was he on a he vibe. He was no bubblegum rapper. He wasn't no bubblegum rapper. Yeah. Nice. You could tell he started that whole wave that people still waving on. Right. If he was outside, you was going to hit big, no matter who your that. fan was. Right. You weren't hearing Pac like that. And for everybody that was like, that's my man, son. They heard like, that big pop. Son. One that more you chance. Were, yeah, yeah, you were, yeah, you were going to hear that one more yeah, chance like, remix. I mean, you you going to hear get around, and you know you can't say that. No, not you know, like not, that. Not, I ain't saying it like that. Right. I'm saying... You hear Pac in New York. You hear Pac on the West and the South and everything. Yes, you was hearing him. But in the clubs, frequently, that you knew, running well, I from... Mean, yeah, Big was a triple threat. He had the radios, he had the streets, and he had the clubs. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He locked them all threat, down. So, I mean, no, you know Pac, what I mean? Pac no, had nobody, acting, though. Yeah, nobody acting. did that level of distribution Pop had that, like too. Pac like had I that said, acting. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Pac... Pac didn't get a personage in terms of like that can work things in the industry on par as a puff until later on with Shug, whereas Big always had access to that apparatus that had the right placements for his shit where it needed to be and it had legs of its own. So but he was able to run circles. My thing is this, Blue, you but, didn't know that though. Hold on. You you're not factoring the fact that when big you those three years that you're talking about, mm-hmm. we didn't know all of these things about big and puff, and puff wasn't who puff is now, so we didn't know how much reach puff had when he was just that nigga in the background. Take that, take that. We thought he was the take that, take that dude. Like we knew he, we knew that it was puff. We knew that he was you know puff was a, 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 he wasn't no no background dancer, right? But we didn't know right. the extent of that type yeah, of... I mean, yeah, the majority of the culture didn't know what a CEO of a label does. You know what I mean? We're actually being... You know what I mean? Like, it was just a word for them. So people don't know the day-to-day operations, but... It wasn't taking sense. They serious. was able to see that he scaled as a as a entrepreneur in terms of his Definitely. empire. Like, right. oh... Son leveled up, and before you know it, it was a rap. It was all him. Right. And he literally, you know, had the Inherited keys for, the and, empire. Yeah, for a whole empire for a generation. You know what I'm saying? And, right. And, and yeah. then brought on other entities, or they somebody would call flunkies, and I'm not going to disrespect these artists by calling them that, but, you know, he, he got people who he um, let the record show, right? took advantage of and didn't give the lion's share, you know what I mean, and utilize them in those contracts and their talent to right. give them street cred, to give them some type of club cred, to have them pop them in the clubs and keeping up with this onslaught that was coming from the South, you know what I mean? And he made allegiances with people who you would think that he wouldn't have an allegiance with. Right. He's always the dude that's cool with the niggas that kills his mans in them. He's that guy. Mm. He he's always the guy that does business with the dude who kills his best friends in them. Coincidentally, you know what I mean? Hey. He's he's in the he's in a section with them. He's that type. So, you know, 
a 30 year run has come to a screeching halt. Um, what he represents in the culture has also come to a screeching halt. You know, the world of hip hop that you knew is no longer, the vultures have dismantled that completely. Um, the fall of Meek and Mills. The shiny suit era is officially. The shiny suit era is officially pushed, right. over, pushed off the mountain clip. Remember, it's a body. Down. It's yeah. It's mm-hmm. a it's an effigy, huh? Nah, I said it's burnt up. It's out of here. Right, it's like how run. they kick France barbecue. out of yeah, barbecue. like Fosse France. Yeah, barbecue. Hold on, Barbara, <laughs> bomb, bomb, bomb. barbecue, barbecue. This shit is barbecue, yo. Fire bun, Babylon for bun. And when you listen to the conversation of what the Haitians are having, what are they saying? We want the resources back. We want our destiny back. We willing to go all the way out. We not playing with y'all. Y'all not about to not have us visit our own beaches and, and we can't enjoy the fruit. We don't even got water. Forget about the fruits of labor. Right. We still on mud pie duty. And the Haitians in America, they going on shopping sprees. Something got to give. Like, why are we not living the same lifestyle as our people? And everywhere that our people go, they got water and electricity. But in our own home, they got a, uh, uh, all of these resources mm-hmm. and all of these Clintons. Something ain't adding up. Well, I'm going to let you know what's not adding up. <laughs> you know, that uh, that that bookkeeper ain't adding up all of that money they they stealing from y'all and completely pillaging your goddamn society. So do what thou do what you must. The same thing that happened in Africa with the French. So people that speak in France on some Napoleon ish is having a real, real, real hard time going into right. this Aquarian age. They must have represented the the uh, Piscean age real heavy because. They're falling like dominoes. Canada's falling. France is falling. Uh, the, 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 the appeal that they had on UK. these African... Huh? The UK. The UK. Uh, the Buckingham Palace is canceled out. You feel me? Like, the shit is going... Uh, you have so-called royalty. Because, you know, I don't, I don't identify them as being royalty. You know, more like soil tree. And they're <laughs> abdicating thrones. Right. This is unprecedented. Never has been seen. The Great Fall. Yes, it is unprecedented, ladies and gentlemen. This ne- never, ne- ne- never at a faster time. Not a- they would Netflix would stress this shit for how many seasons? Come on so, now, yeah. I see what that do- what they doing with um, um six seasons, six right, and have the spinoffs. How long would and, Bravo and stretch this bitch? And a yeah. prequel. Before the end of the season, the last one, you get a prequel. Yeah, a prequel. What would Fifty do with this? How how far no, would the books be of power Book if this eight. if this shit was power? Book how eleven? Come on now. They were squeezed. They would milk this cow, bro. You Sri Lankans would get upset the way that this cow was being milked. They would milk this hoe. Sound effects, please. Get it sexy, get it sexy, hit it from the back, it best not, I ain't lying. We gonna get this work. I ain't lying. Yeah. We gonna get this Smack that ass in if it's bad. Shout out to all of the sexy ones bouncing back after the first born or the second or third. You know what I'm talking about? She giving snapbacks a whole year. Salute. 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 That's that reset. Mm-hmm. That's that great reset. Her shit reset it immediately. You know what I'm talking about? Great reset. You know? Great reset. But everything is going according to plan. There's nothing that's taking place outside of the scopes of a lecture that we've heard over the course of 20 years from one of the master teacher, if not four or five of them. Things that happen in a checker, they they check the box on about five or six lectures. You know, the new wave is for people to find those classical lectures and begin to chop up the the prophecies that were being made by these quote-unquote geniuses. Let's not even put ego into it. Let's just call them geniuses. 
These were geniuses, these teachers and whatnot. Both they were on corners and inside of the lecture halls and inside of universities and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Our network is our net worth. <laughs> and there's one thing that I know. And if there's one thing that I know, and if there's two things for certain, is that, that this network is growing stronger by the day. You know, um, people have the opportunity now to do things that they've never had the opportunity to do before with the mitigated goal, the permission to do such. You could wake up and they're giving you permission to be a millionaire just by looking at one of your wallets and whatnot. You might have had a good few hours, you know, while you were asleep, you might have went into a parabolic realm. Your wallet might have went para, gotten parabolic and jumped 100% the way that this shit is volatilely making people rich. You know? You may wake up and get a download for a million dollar idea, <laughs> plug into your AI or one of your co-pilot tools and whatnot that you're working with and craft out something 24 hours later and you on the road to the riches. No turning back. Like, things like that really are happening in real time. You may wake up and take the course that the brother Tyreek is offering you for the legal gas, the THCA. Go and look hey. it up, man. We, you know, shoot. We have no reason yeah, to play games. Yeah, do the research, right? And thank me later. So you take a course and you become an investor in your own destiny. You start owning not just dispensaries, but farms. The land that your your peoples and whatnot, the estate that your peoples own, or the land that your people gave to you or handed down, now that's a farm. And not only are you utilizing crops to make your your uh, your living and whatnot, but you're clothing people, you're feeding people, and you're healing them with the oils. Yes. So, God's miracle plant. God's miracle plant. Social entrepreneurs and, you know, people who are out here, the 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 uh the thinkers, the knowers, but the doers. Doers. The big doers. You know? Cause you this, could this is the play for you. This is the play for you. You feel me? I know you can see this thing for what it is. Like we said, do your due diligence, do your research, and then you're gonna find out it's official tissue. Bro got a whole situation, <laughs> right? Where it's a course that can show you the play by play and a step by step to put yourself in position to do what you always was wishing. If I only had the opportunity to make some green off this green, well, here you go. Legally. Not only that, you can make it clean, right? With that legal gas. Clean, clean. Right. And. I'm on week number three currently, okay, of a course that I've been doing, a master course that I've been putting together with two other geniuses, a brother that goes by the name of Crypto Don. Yes. And another brother that goes by the name of Spin City Digital. Yes. And we've been basically laying out step by step how to build a digital AI empire, right? Right. Right. How to build a digital AI empire. Empire. Step by step. Meaning you get to see what is being built or how you can right. build, right? How you could take these tools and the framework or the methods or the formula to take you to build any type of idea that you could conceptualize or think of or your child or your mate or your family member or maybe there was a relative who had a dream that they wanted to come true or a, or a character that they wanted to come to life or a movie that they wanted to film or a story that they wanted written. This is how you bring them back to life. This is how you immortalize your people. Do you know that you could make their pictures move? You want to talk about a living altar? 
Do you know you can make the pictures of your relatives move and actually speak words? And then you could prompt those words into the mouths of your relatives so they could chant your um, ancestral chants and your affirmations. I could do magic. I could do magic. Imagine your great-great-grandmother saying, I could do magic. <laughs> or that picture where they was on a porch 30 deep and whatnot. Little ones hanging off of watermelons off the side of the porch and what. I could do magic. I could do magic. Magic, magic. 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 Right? Right. That's what AI is going to afford you. Like, I did a, me and brother Rich, we made history one year ago. Because one year ago, I successfully created multiple millionaires, right, by offering a workshop called Masters of the Universe. It was a one and done, okay? Well, it's not a one and done because it's still on my website, ktluniversity.com. You know what I'm talking about? But we made history with that workshop, right? Seven hours we broke down exactly what AI is and how to master it and be a master of your universe. We did not waste time and put anybody in a fear, uh, fear mongering type of state of mind. And we did not waste time telling people the negative effects of what AI, because last time <clears throat> I checked, I haven't been to an AI sponsored funeral in a very, you know what I mean? I didn't get no. Yo, son. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, slid through. AI murder. Son, Yo, slide. Tesla bot ran down yeah. on me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Slide for Jeremy. Uh, yeah. yeah I, I didn't get no slide for Jeremy post and whatnot where his AI yeah. took him out. No hashtag. Open I ain't AI. No, no hashtag from open AI oh, being clothes. responsible for cleaning y'all blocks up. and You know what I'm saying? Uh, YB is better and all of that. None of that. So the AI, what I saw it do this year was it turned people that I knew who were not millionaires, right? Not multi-millionaires, you know, because people equate success with, uh, with, with, with the bank account and whatnot. So I saw the success rate of a lot of people who were very early on the technology. I saw that grow exponentially. Right. I saw opportunities begin to become so much that people begin to burn out because there was so much to do and not enough people to do it. I saw the technology coming out so fast at such a fast pace that once you got busy and sat down with one thing, there was an improved tech, uh, upgrade and an update and you just kept going and kept going and climbing the ladder. Mm -hmm. Right. I saw people utilize AI to secure crypto when it was basically at a low rate and people weren't paying that much attention. And as it began to rise, everything began to change for them. I saw people teach their children all of the fundamentals of artificial intelligence and make it non-spooky and whatnot, but really give them the fundamentals that I put out in my ebook. This about, uh, it was about a hundred plus pages that many homeschoolers are using right now to teach their their crystals and their star seeds, AI for star seeds, right? It's on the gum road. So I saw lives improve. I saw people get their time back. I saw people turn uh eight eight day work weeks into four <laughs> hour work weeks. Mm -hmm. I saw people become autonomous. And, you know, become masters of multiple niches and have income streams in like 10, 20 different places. There's people that's out here generating um, stuff on um, printable or printify with, 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 with mid journey, a hundred shirts a day. Brrr, they got it. And it's automated, too, because, you know, on printify, they just they just they, they printing everything and doing everything for you. Mm -hmm. So it's crazy, man. We're talking abundance. We're talking reason to rejoice. Right. We're talking being grateful and thankful to our ancestors. Thanks. Heka, you know, the ancestors in West Africa who were the ones that are progenitator, the progenitors of the uh, the zeros and the ones. That's right. That all of this computer language is actually functioning off of. You know, uh, all of our African brothers and sisters who took that coltan and, and, and you know, all of the, all, all of the necessary resources out of the earth the the beauty of the 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 place that we're in is that mathematics is the fusion of africa and asia right 
and it always incorporates the Americas. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because they took the mathematics and put it into their architecture. Right. But uh, brother Tyreek Bay, can you speak on that uh, the I Ching and and how they relate to that that zeros and that ones? How you could always identify, as they say, either by the tongue or the drum or the zeros or the ones. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. So yeah, I mean, you know, I'm I'm a multi I'm a multifaceted guy. I'm not just cannabis, man. My my superpower is the Yi Ching. You that's know, alumni that's, from KTL, yeah. KTL alumni, Destiny Grind. Yeah, Destiny Grind. That's 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 really how my my claim to fame is 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 really working the Yi Jing. It's an ancient uh, an oracle system that um, ancient China used to run the country. You know, this was this like if you dig up the the, the courts with a, you know, with an emperor rule, you're gonna find Yi Jing. You know, he was he was rolling that's how they that's how they did what they did. That's why they built the wall to keep preserving their, their information. Mm-hmm. You know, you see the Great Wall of China, that shit was to keep the so called barbarians out, you know what I'm saying, from, from pillaging like they did Kemet and a lot of other, you know, places right. where, where the information was lo- lost, like like when Columbus took the map and went over and landed in Haiti. You know, this shit yes, is crazy. So, right. so you gotta understand. So the Yi Jing was 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 the root of the whole. That's this this was it was built off binary. Yes. It was built off zeros and ones. You know what I'm saying? In the, in, in China, zero is yin. Yin. One is yang. Yang. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So combinations of yin and yang is a language. Mm. So when you ask a question, you ask an inquiry. It's like going to an AI. It's like a prompt. Right. Right. You asking a question, and it's gonna give you out. These numbers right, got variables. It's gonna give you, yeah. It's gonna give you coded information, and to be able to read the code will help you navigate certain situations because everything is an algorithm. Right. Everything has a rhythm to it. You know what I'm saying? So basically, what you're doing is you you getting the rhythm of that situation. Right. And your and the questions that you ask is how do I conduct myself? Conduct is basically how do I think of it as a script. Every situation mm-hmm. is a script being played out, and you're an actor. You like right. Denzel, or you like to Raji P, whatever, you get a role. Right, and your right. role is, okay, in this particular situation, you can't just be one thing. You dig what I'm saying? You may, you have to adjust to the situation. If it's a situation called for you to be like a certain element, you got to be able to adjust. The Yee Jing will tell you, oh, that's fire over over water. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you look at, if you put fire over water, you know, what's going to happen to the water? Too much fire going to evaporate, evaporate with the water. That's right. right. So you got to balance it out. So it'll tell you how to act and conduct yourself in certain situations. But the Yi Jing was what your binary oh, oh. come from, your zeros yeah. and ones that built all the present computer languages and everything that you see today. So that's oh, that's oh. that's a skill that our ancestors have. So with the Yi Jing, you also have things like E5 and stuff yes. like that. And all this, is, all this is based off binary. So that's what the brother is alluding to. So... When you consult and you go to these these tools, think of it as as, as spiritual technology. That's right. right. You know, what I'm saying? it's not it's not artificial intelligence. It's spiritual intelligence. It's spiritual intelligence. You understand what I'm right. saying? Right. And it you got to you got to communicate with this, it's, and it speaks through language, the universal language. Two plus NLP. two on right. Earth is four. Two plus two on Mars is four. Two plus two anywhere in the universe and right. existence is universal the same thing. language. So right. number. Trumps all these different languages. So when you communicating and you getting these numbers back in this binary format, and you able to take take it and, and, and decipher that, it just helps. It's like your back. It's like your shooting percentage. You know what I'm saying? You Steph Kirk, like Kobe. Kobe. If Kobe had a 65 point night, right? His shooting percentage was like what 50 percent, 60 percent. You know what I'm saying? He 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 missed a lot of shots, but mm-hmm. He miss more. He 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 gonna make more. He gonna make right. a lot, a good percentage of it. So every situation you get into is like a, a shoot a, a shooting situation, you know. So you're gonna hit them all, but to improve your 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 your, your percentages, you go to these tools and it'll help you, you know, you know, help you score, you know, help you do what you need to do. But right. that's the science of the Yi Jing, and and you know, we, we 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 I do that, you know what I'm saying? When 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 I do it, I take it to a whole another level. We are using the technology. That's you know right. what I'm saying? We using virtual reality. You know, we bring you in these headsets. You put the headset on. I don't care where you at in the world. Now we in the same room. 
Now I can take your life and put it in front of you, literally. Right. I can take a reading, your life, and plot it out through what we talk, we call mind mapping. It's mind putting, mapping. It's putting our right. thoughts out of our heads right. in the 3D space. Spatial. And you can see, actually see what you're thinking. You can see your problems in life and connect right. dots. Like, you know what? Oh, Spiritual, that, yeah. spatial awareness. And if I have a problem, spatial, we have situations right. where I had a problem and I brought Brother Blue in and look at my problem. Right. Yo, bro, what you think of this, man? I got this shit going on right, right here. I got this. Yo, let's move this right there. We doing this in virtual reality. You dig what I'm saying? So right. we, 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 it's metaphysics, baby. <laughs> Meta netta. All that. Think about the words, man. So that's what we're doing, man. You right. know, when when this new, yo, we got, you know, Brother Blue got a lecture that we doing in virtual reality. This shit's going to be mind blowing. You dig what I'm saying? We have, now, if you got your headsets, you can join us and see it in VR. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You go get them from Zuck, or you can get your headsets from us. You know, right, right. our headsets are a little different though. Right. It's jailbroken, meaning we we take see Zuck put brakes on his. We take the brakes off. That's right. all. That's all. Yeah, you no get you, you you get a whole. So think Skirt. about it. You want to get with brother Blue or brother Red, and yeah. you want to be in the same space with them, no matter where you at in the world. That's you put right. your headsets no on. Now meet us in the metaverse. Now. That's right. In the metaverse, you in know what I'm saying? You know, in we the got, netta. yeah, we can show you, you can be in the same space with us. We can do, we, we got, we, we talking about, hip, we talking about concerts. We talking about album releases. We talking about anything that's going on in the real world. We're going to be doing that in the metaverse now. You dig what I'm saying? So, you know, we, that's what we doing. KTL Plus, when that drop, you're going to see a whole lot of that. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you, you know, this, this is a movement. You know, we got a, it's a new tech company on the scene. It's coming through. We even got an interview coming out. Oh, my where goodness. This yeah. down. Yeah. Oh, we, my goodness. We got the the, the dude who, the, the the video, doorbell. Y'all, when you go, everybody got a ring, everybody a doorbell a right ring now. Doorbell. Ring. You got a ring doorbell. Do you know there's a brother, a black man that controls that technology, that licenses it to ring? Got the license. You never even heard of his name. One of the greatest business deals ever. Ask Nas, Mass Appeal. Ask him. Right. Ask him his greatest deal before, you know, he, you know, when he, he took us bread. This is one of his greatest deals was the ring deal. You dig what I'm saying? So we got that brother going to be breaking things down. You know what I'm saying? We working on bringing a lot of this stuff in, in VR, man. But the, and, and when the, when the, when the, when the, when the, when the pillars drop this VR hip hop video, think about it. Just, just think about reasonable doubt. We don't know. What's, what's, what's big? What's, what, 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 uh, what video? What's, what was the best one? Um, In my life Big Papa. Nah, Big Papa, big dog. Papa. Imagine being at that video set. Right. right. I love it when they call me Big Papa. So you watching it in 2D, but imagine you can put your headsets on and be in the video. Right in there. Looking right. in there with Big, like, yo, son, right there. yo. Right. That's what we, that's what we got with the virtual reality, you know, the VR technology. You're going right. to be in the music. With us, immersive, immersive, immersive entertainment. Indeed. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, yo, stay tuned, man. It's gonna be a exciting year. Yes, and I have to remind the family that we do have the four week course for how to build your AI digital empire available on KTL University. We're taking payment options for that as well. And we also have each class that we're selling individually. These are master classes with information and methods on how to basically build whatever type of AI, anything in AI, because, you know, it's too vast to begin to, you know, name them. It's a lot of things that you could do. There's a lot of angles that you could take. There's a lot of opportunities. Do not get tricked. They tricked you too many times in too many ways because it's based off of your lack of what you may know and may not know. So don't fall for the trick bag. Get into the technology that the whole world has already begun to shift towards. Okay? Learn it. And don't let it learn you. It's nothing to be afraid of and intimidated by and whatnot. This is the cheat code, and we're using it to our benefit. So KTL University, we have the course up there. How to Build Your Digital Twin is the one-off class that we did. How to Build Your Digital Twin is a standalone class that is available for replay. And that's that's me and Spin City and our good brother Cyber uh, Don teaching you how to clone, right? This brother learned how to clone himself. And when, when I say clone, you might think like, yeah, you know, 
they have an avatar and it looked like them and whatnot. No, listen, I'm talking about really beyond what deep fake is. Uh, and a real when they say digital twin, they really mean it. Do you know that the that they made a digital twin of the Earth, right? In the video, yeah. okay. They, they made that they. Um, this Earth, is how advanced it is Earth that they two. they made Earth two. Earth two. Oh, Earth two. Earth two. Uh, an Man. exact replica twin. The Matrix. The Matrix. Oof, they built right. it. So, tell them about the I'll digital be, twin, hey Jen. So, I took the information. Like when I heard about this, I was my it blew my mind. I said, hold on, you can do what? Hold on, what? So, I went to hey Jen, followed the brother's direction. I went and I rec- I created a digital version of myself. His name is Tariq Three Thousand. Uh, Three Thousand. Uh, uh, Three Thousand. Thousand. I fed Tariq 3,000 what I know about THCA, the farm bill, the whole game. I gave him the whole thing. Right. Fed it to him. Right. And he spit it out. And made a, and we made a course. And so Tariq is spitting. So he, you know, it's, it's yeah. So the technology, man, my, but my, 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 my purpose was to show that just don't buy a course, man. Apply what you learn. Right, right. Application is what you need. Put into use. Put into action. ASAP. Application. You know. Right. Get plan in the game. Out, plan out. Plan out what you do before, because before I created the course, I planned everything out. That's right. I planned it out. And Proper planning. Prevents you gotta understand augmented intelligence. Augmented intelligence. Learn that word. Augment your intelligence. Use the AI, bros. Peoples, use the AI. Mm-hmm. Augment your intelligence and organize your thoughts and and, and create What's something. And then use these technology like that? a digital twin and and get busy, man. This 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 was amazing, man. So I want to thank the brother mm-hmm. for that information that he gave me, man. That uh, it's crazy, but yeah, oh, it's, it's at legalgasmoney.cloud, and you will see that when you get this course, you know it's a it's it's a digital twin that's teaching it, but it's the real mm-hmm. information. It's it's you know it's yo. So check right. that out, man. Yeah, but yeah. um, actually do yeah. the apply, and when you anything you get from us, man, just apply it and see what it do. See what it do. Right. Shout out to all of my Facts Initiative members. You know, uh, we over the years since we started with Facts Initiative, food, art, clothes, technology, and shelter, hundreds and hundreds of businesses have blossomed and bloomed. Me and Blue have traveled around America and even overseas, and people will say, yo, 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 shout out to you, Brother Red. Yo, that Facts Initiative Man, that, that shit inspired me to go ahead and get busy and be an a entrepreneur. This is before entrepreneur became uh, a destination for a lot of people. But now it's a household thing. So shout out to all of the people in the Facts Initiative who have created brands and companies, products and services based off of the food, the art, the clothes, the tech, the shelter we have some powerful, powerful, some beautiful news that we're going to be unveiling and rolling out to y'all in the month of April. So please be ready, be prepared, and, you know, just be eager because you already know that it's going to be a movie. You know what I'm talking about? So <laughs> Facts 24, <coughs> we here. Uh, you know, we are here at KTL Studios. We're going to lock in for 30 days straight. We're going to... um break the uh break certain records in the streaming the streaming world um we're running to uh we have a goal of a hundred thousand the hundred k right not on youtube in particular more so in the <coughs> streaming world which you see right here this doesn't look like youtube because this is not youtube you know this is production this is broadcasting this is actually streaming this could be done 24 hours a day Right? Seven days a week. We could sit here, smoke some of this uh, red and blue strain, listen to the 48 Pillars of Power, design some Kings County and Soldier Culture clothes, drink some gold water, do some breathing exercises and whatnot. Pablo Paz. Uh, eat some Pablo Paz, put on some athletics drip, and just chill. In front of our audience as it grows and grows and expands and expands. Maybe we may consider doing that one day. Who knows? But right now, 
we're going to be taking this information that we are known for doing, especially in the days of 125th Street when me and Blue Pill was in Brooklyn. We was in Queens. We were everywhere where the news was at, north, east, west, and south. And we were basically shaking the pillars of the matrix, doing things that I haven't seen anybody do to this day. Hold on. To this day. To this day. Frontlining. To this day. Carrying the news, no matter what the news was about, being able to basically prophesy, pillar prophecies, and break things down. And journalistically, you know what I mean? I don't know where Blue's Pulitzer Prize uh, Award is, but it's somewhere in the, it's somewhere in the ethos downloading, right? Let's not even talk about what he, what, what Blue came and did with the Kanye breakdown and how we're literally living through it and watching it right now in real time. And hashtag, y'all owe yay an apology. Hashtag, look at him cook. Hashtag, vultures. You know? It's only right. It's only right. It's only right. So, I'm saying, I'm saying all of that to say Make sure y'all guys tap in and take advantage of the uh, the cloth that's being provided. We do this for y'all. And, you know, um, what, 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 what really makes us feel appreciated is when you take the information and you become a legend and you handle your business. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we are bidding you good night, farewell, love and light. Look out for the album. New uh, music dropping. Uh, look out for that. That is coming very soon. 420, y'all. 420. And the party 20, is at 400 Loyola Street. Industry ATL. Industry ATL. 400 Loyola 420. Oh, we are going to be introducing and rolling out and premiering one of the hardest, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, most... Uh, Forward thinking, you know, uh, genre pushing. Impactful projects of our career. Yes, yes. Paradigm shifting. Paradigm shifting. Pole shifting. Right. All of them good things. Art. You know what I'm saying? Piece of art that is going to put things in perspective. And, uh, you know, again, really give people um, some power pellets uh, leading into a very exciting and engaging remainder of 2024 as we continuously kick in the door, waving them four four. So it ain't going to be nothing short of B.I.G. Baby, right. baby. All right. All right. We're going to leave y'all with Breathless. Red. 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 Yes, What's up sir. with that shirt you got on? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, um, this shirt right here goes live on the mark 125com Okay. That's T H E the Mart one two five. All right, check this out. Olas, this is the newest drip. Spring is here, so we got new drip. Okay, check it out. Fire, yeah. That good arm work. You know what I'm saying? Go about you know? it. No, giant. So yeah. We're going to have this. This is dropping on the site, the mark125th.com. For the first people to get there for the first 24 hours, you're going to get it at a discounted price. Everybody else, you're going to have to pay what it pays. But, yeah, this is the newest drip right here. Check us out. And, uh... Russia through Ukraine, touching the locals. Quasi cold, touching the coastal.
Yeah. Off that Holy Ghost 3. Go stream that. Breathless. Go stream Cream. that. Run that up. Yeah. Cream. Summer is mine. Yeah, the summer is mine. That's it. <laughs>